Hello, good morning, and welcome to the 14th annual Cavalier Spike Off. I'm here at Seawright, joined alongside Scott Mag. We'll have the semifinals and finals for you today here in this 14th annual installment of this wonderful season lid lifter. And here in the semifinals in the first game, we've got out of land Orf taking on Coldwater in game number one. And then in the second semifinal, it'll be St. Henry taking on Fort Lorimer. And uh, a nice way to start the season, Scott, for, for eight squads here this morning. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's. Uh, this has always been one of the premier opening uh, tournaments in the area, and you know, you, if you come away with a winner this at this tournament, you know you've uh, you got a pretty good team. So the receive by the Titans. It looks like we hit the candy cane. At yeah. the first point, or outside it looked like maybe. The first point of this semifinal goes to Coldwater on the structure outdoor Ohio by Alt Scoreboard. Cavaliers tuck one inside the back line and make it an early 2-0 lead. Yeah. Van Kadam, the sophomore, serving for the Cavaliers. Coldwater got a game one victory over Miami East to get to the semifinal as the receive. Taken by Ottawa Glenn with a big <laughs> swing by Ali Schrader. Now that's uh, Sienna. Sienna Fry oh, right really there. Yep. That's 20, 25 instead yep. of 23. So yep. Sienna Fry gets the early kill yep. for Ottawa Glendorf for their first point. Fry, just a sophomore. Six foot one opposite hitter. Caitlin Kimmick will serve for the Titans a little long. Gives the point to the Cavaliers. A little, little fired up I'm, uh, on the serve there with Caitlin. Olivia Brary will serve for Coldwater now. And it's a, it's a little different setup than you're used to in school volleyball with a couple of games going on. Yeah. That one drops to the floor for the Titans where you know, you're not used to maybe having to worry about whistles on another court. Absolutely. Or, or, or the ball coming in right, your way. Yeah, I mean, somebody chasing a ball. It's more like club season yeah. or summer, like uh, summer club and everything else going on here, yes. Serve from Bailey Krause, sent over. Swing from Spencer Etzler hits the floor, and she gets the spike today, brought to you by Lou's Famous Recipe Chicken. Gives Coldwater a 4-2 advantage. Mm. Both these teams pretty familiar. They play in this, uh, this kickoff, and usually uh, one of the teams uh, knock each other out in the tournament, usually at the end of the year, so they, they get but they pretty much, both of these coaches know each other very well. Tipped over by Katie Cochran is down. Not a win, cuts the lead to one, you're right. You, you play here early in the season and then you find yourself in the district tournament playing yeah. against each other. And uh, that, that district that collided in the past couple of years, it's just been a beat there. have been so many really good teams yeah. that end up in that district tournament. You're right, you come out of there, you're well tested for the regionals. Sienna Usually Fry sends one over. Swing and down to Morgan Blossom game. Her first kill. Katie Kaufman just, I thought she had that, but it looked like it hit the net. It's Katie is one of the uh, premier blockers in Northwest Ohio. She uh, set a school record as a freshman. Pass over, Claudia Mack tips it over. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Swing for Kira Kanapke. Dug out by the Titans. They'll roll it back over. Rally continues. Set to Blasey game. Good. Uh, Saved by save the Titans. Caitlin Kimmett there. What to get dirty and get that one. Dumped over yeah. and down for Coldwater as Mia Kanafke drops it just inside the line. Runs the score to 6-3 here in the early going of game number one. Just three sets played in these invitations. Tell you, you to be a setter, you almost got to have eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> that was so impressive how she just... Tip that over to the back without even looking. Set swing by Kimmick. Or Kaufman, I beg your pardon. There's a block. There's another one. As Kaufman set yeah. it back twice for the point for Ottawa Glandorf. Just setting up that brick wall right there <laughs> yeah. in the middle of that net. Yeah, she's very, 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 very good at that. I mean, like I said, she's 6'1", uh, a post player on the basketball team. She's very good around the net and blocking sh shots in basketball and volleyballs in volleyball. Claudia Magnus served for Ottawa Glandorf, a roll from Morgan Blasingame, a little long for the Cavaliers. Just like that, Ottawa Glandorf has clawed back. 
I think the score six five here in the, this first set. And I think a lot of that has to be with Katie Kaufman and Caitlin Kimmett, two pretty tall young ladies up there that now you can hit that spike and you got to go a little bit higher to get over them and you hit it long, but corrected one there off the block. So that one drops on the floor for the Cavaliers. Goes off Bailey Kraus, the libero today for OG. Kira Kanapke, the sophomore, serving now for the Cavaliers. As they look to advance to the championship for this for their invitational as it goes a little long. Yeah. Good job by Bailey Kraus to uh, right the last minute, turn her shoulders and let that one go out of bounds. Amber Young in to serve. Drops it in the back row. The Cavalier receive. Big swing from Olivia Brewer and drops just inside the line. She gets the kill. And that'll send Morgan Watson game back to serve now for the Cavaliers. A couple of Titans take a seat. Katie Kaufman, one of them, as well as Alexa Clay, or Amory Young, I beg your pardon. Yep. Wazing game gets it just in oh, that wow, back that, corner. That's a heck of a serve, boy. That's, talk about painting the line. That was uh, <laughs> that's, that's a tough <laughs> spot to, to, right. to receive that as well. It looks like it might be wide. It might right. be long. Nope, it's just inside that line, and it's a 9-6 advantage for the Cavs. And for when she hit it at, that was pretty impressive. Kraus will roll it over, keep the rally alive. Swing from the center, Mia Kanapke. A set up. Olivia Boring on the outside, she tips it down. Mm -hmm. Addie Bellman was up there and got a little, and got her hand on it and it kind of tipped off. Timeout taken by Ottawa Glendorf's Amber Miller. We'll step aside as well. 10 6 on the structure outdoor Ohio by Alt Scoreboard here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. 10 to 6, the score. Coldwater with the lead and the serve into the net. Gives the point to Ottawa Landry. And that will drop Addison Bellman back to serve. Miami East and New Knoxville playing on court B for a spot in the fourth place matchup. Cavaliers tip it over. Dug out by Krauss. Swing by Fry, blocked at the net. Good call, and lift. Olivia Broering yep. gets the prolonged contact. With a point to OG, it's a 10-8 score now as the Titans get back-to-back -back points. Bellman serve into the back row in a cold water D. Tipped over by Madison Wendell, dug out by the Titans. Fry the left-handed swing, just a little wide. For the point to Coldwater. And that right there is what we're talking about with the, you know, that ball almost goes into the New Knoxville-Miami East game. I think it did, and they're kind of wiping it off. It might have got in the uh, water bottles over there. <laughs> the manager, God bless her, she right. used her shirt and wiped it off. I mean, that's a good that's manager right that's there. Good. That's good looking out. Yeah, that's right. Head, heads up. Yeah. Bellman across courts, set, tipped back over by the Cavaliers, rolled over by the Titans. Etzler, the set, tries to dump it over, off the fist of Krause and out of play. Back-to-back -back points for Coldwater. You know, it. you think, oh, that should have been, like, you know, watching this on TV, you're thinking, oh, they should have got that, but that was just such good placement about, she put it right in between three girls, and they all were kind of like little, a half step short to get to there, as Madison McKee hits one leap. Just a little long. Yep. And now Coldwater's growing the lead to five on the structure out there, Ohio by on the scoreboard. Service from Mia Kanaki. Great diving attempt there by Claudia Mag to get it up to the deck. Had a long way to go. And now the lead grows to six for Coldwater. Cavaliers. Looking for their first 
tournament title here. Oh, wow. In two years as it hits the top of the net and the service for Mia can actually drop to the floor. And another time out taken by Ottawa Glendor to step aside as well. The lead is broke for Coldwater here at Coldwell Cavalier Spike Off on WOSN. Spike tonight brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Lombok, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken. Home style happens here. Serves for the Cavaliers long from Mankinaki. Yeah, so, you know, good timeout by the OG coaching staff. Two times they called timeout, and both one was into the net and one was long. So, just trying to break that momentum, regroup just a little bit. It's Caitlin Kimmick serves for the Titans. Cross court set. Madison Wendell to swing. Dug out by the Titans. Back set to Sienna uh, Fry. That was a nice one. Finds the floor. Yeah, they, she's seen that down the line. They, they were looking cross court because she's been going that way the last couple of times. But great adjustment by her to go down line line. It was a wide open spot. She hit it. And that's kind of a tough spot to hit as a left hander sure. down the, the right hand yep. side. But she tucks it inside the line. 15 10 to score. Is Kimmick. Great hustle it's over a, there. <laughs> getting into the middle of the <laughs> other ball game. And it's wide of the candy cane. The point goes to the tight. Yeah, Olivia, boring. She was in about the uh, paint over there in the other <laughs> she, court. She, she was so far over the there. 10 foot line over. Yeah. And, and luckily, they had just called a timeout, so you didn't yeah. have to worry about anybody crashing. Or the game had just ended, I beg your pardon, in game number one on that court B. The Titans can't chase that one down. The point to the Cavaliers. And a link grows back to five. Great cam 16 11. Great camera work from our camera crew to, to track that one down. <laughs> you know, you got to film two courts here, right? <laughs> awful, lot of, awful lot of players, awful lot of different yeah. colors as the swing right. from Olivia Broering goes into the net. Kind of sensory overload in here, there's, isn't it? <laughs> there's, and, and inside the crowd, there's yes. not really, you know, like a St. Henry section or an OG section. Or, everybody's dispersed through one another. A timeout called by Coldwater. So 16-12 the score. And every time Coldwater's grown that lead to five or so, Otto Blandor's clawed right back and, and shrunk it. Yeah, and it's. Uh, I think Ottawa, it, OG, is, they got some new faces. They got some new people playing some different spots. Uh, they're going to be better as the year goes on, you know, and it's it's kind of like the beginning of the year is like when you get a new new car, right? You want to try out all the new, <laughs> all, the new features. all the new features, but eventually it all boils down to you. You put gas in it and you start it and you go and, you know, eventually both these teams will figure out who they are through this through their tough set uh, schedule like OG in the WBL and cold water in the Mac. There's some good teams that they got to play. They're going to get better and better and better. And that's why, apparently, they're always in the districts, yeah. semis, and finals because both of these have a tough in-season schedule and they prepare them for the tournament. Yeah, they play both. Play really, really tough schedules where Otto Landorf plays several teams from the MAC. Coldwater going to play several teams from the WBL as the swing from Madison Wendell finds the floor. 17-12 now the score. Coldwater with that lead. Katie Kaufman and Claudia Mag a little bit late on the block. They got it, but they just didn't get the their hands over the net. Just Ab a little late on that one. Abigail Schwederman's going to serve now for the Cavaliers. A 5'7 senior. Puts it in the air. Deep into that middle of the back, back row. It's a set. Swing by Fry. Good job by. She took a little change yes, up she did. from it. Drops it in. Just over the block and in, in front of the uh, back rowers. Great placement by Sienna Fry there. Just a sophomore, and now she'll drop back to serve for the Titans. Stinger just over the top of the net. Swing from the Cavaliers. Morgan Blossom game just a hair long. Out of Landorf, got the lead to three. It's 17-14. She had the right idea, the right spot. It was open. She just hit it just a hair long, as you said. It not, not too far. Right. Blossom game tries to redeem herself. Tipped up in the air by Kraus. Matt will roll it over. Dumped over by Coldwater. As Kraus 
gets it off the fingertips. She had the right idea to dive for it, just mistimed it just a hair. And Coldwater grows the lead a little bit more. Something the Titans might need to try to figure out. That's about the fourth or fifth little tip by the setter over. Titans got to make sure they cover that up. The serve from Spencer Etzler drops to the floor. The junior. Great place, placement. She's got a great feel and touch from that yep. service position. The lead grows back to five at 19-14. Just a knuckleball again from Etzler. Yep. Right to the floor. It's so difficult to get a read on and then also get to where you need to be to receive it. Yep. She had a little lollipop and then she had the knuckleball. See what she comes with next. Sienna Fry able to dig it out of the tight bench just over yes. the net. A swing from Blasi again. Oh. Will drop to the floor. Sienna Fry got that one quick, but the setter did, had her back turn. Couldn't uh, Bellman didn't get to seeing that in time. Four consecutive points for the yep. Cavaliers. It's grown the lead to seven. Dug out by Mag. She'll send it over. Good placement dug out by Schroyer. Rally kept alive. Mag will swing. Well, just a hair long. Close enough that made Madison Wendell think about it for a bit. <laughs> Spencer Etzler will continue to serve with an eight point advantage. Sent in the back row. Belvin. Fry sends it into the net. And a run here for Coldwater. Yeah. It's kind of been a game of runs, right? Each team, two or three, four points. But this one's been a, a hefty six-point run here for the Cavaliers. Now, Titans had it down to as little as three. Etzler continuing to serve, tipped over by the Titans. Get a joust at the net. Coldwater and the net. Yeah. I think number six, that's Blazin game, I believe, was in the net a little bit. Claudia Mack now with the opportunity to try to put together a little rally here for the Titans to claw back in. Trailing 23-15, sends it long. And that'll bring up set point here in game number one. Kira Kanapke on to serve for Coldwater. Set nice over to Caitlin Kimmich. Yeah. She finds the floor. Yeah. Bob. Maybe one of the set, first or second time the Titans really had a, they handled the serve and made a good pass right. to the setter and the setter made a great set to the outside and they put one away. And you know, the Titans do that. I think they got a game, but their passing was just a little shaky there in the middle of that game. And yeah, it's cost been them, kind of just survival yeah, on, right. on the, on the service serve. receive. Yeah. Is Amory Young. Serves for the OG Titans. Blossom game oh. swings, blocked right at the net. Yeah, Madison McKee, the freshman, with the very long arms that got her arms up over there and made a heck of a block. I think she's 6-1 if I'm not mistaken. So that staves off the first game going to Coldwater for now is the swing. That was into the net, looks like. Broaring yeah. gets the net. And out of the land or putting together just a little bit of a run here. Set point persists, 24-18. Here in game number one of the semifinals of the 14th Cavalier spike off. Young serve, dug out. Tough receive, that's the will get it over. The set, the swing, the tip to Kimmich. Kimmich. Yep. It's the floor and out of the land or building a little bit of momentum here. Yeah, and again, a good timeout by the Coldwater staff. As you can see, again, the good pass sets it up as both teams, Coldwater kind of now struggling a little bit on the serve-receive. Spikes today brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and De Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. 24-19, and we've talked about those timeouts being used as just momentum stoppers and OG's put together five straight points after Coldwater put together, I think, seven straight yeah. points. So it's been a set of runs here in, in, in game number one. Absolutely it has. And, and uh, you know, I think 
Coldwater's runs have been longer point tallies than the Titans' runs, but, you know, it's multiple points each time. Uh, unfortunately, if you're a Titans fan right now watching this, is the Cavaliers have made longer runs than the Titans have, but and the I run's not over yet, so we'll see what Anne-Marie Young can do here on the serve. I think you mentioned it, that Otto Glendorf has settled in here the back half of this set of the service receives and getting better passes to their setters where it was a struggle in the, the first portion of the set was to serve by Young in the middle of the back row. A swing from Blasek game, dug out by Young. Another pass, another set, and a big kill. Yeah, that was nice by Caitlin Kimmett. Big swing there and put that one down. That was, that had some pace on it. <laughs> Maybe some frustrations of uh, the way this first yes, set has gone. Yes, absolutely. That was, a heck, on that, volleyball. that was a heck of a hit. 24-20 on the Ultimate Outdoor Structure, Ultimate Outdoor Ohio by Alt Scoreboard. Tip dug out by the Titans. Back set. Fry swings. Got a piece of it. Cavaliers dump it over. There's and the they tip drop again, it in. Yep. And they will take game number one. 25-20. So Coldwater has a game under their belt. As we go to set number two in this three-set semifinal here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Allfoot. Structure Outdoor Ohio, bring your indoors out. Set number two about to get underway here. The cold water, the Cavalier spike off, the 14th annual. We'll take a look at the history of this event. Bottom of Landorf, champions of 2016, 2018, runner up in 2019. Cold water's had plenty of success, champions in 2013, 14, 17, and 21. Finished runner up in 2015 and 16. We mentioned earlier in that first set, not out of the realm of possibility that this is a district semifinal, a district final <laughs> matchup sometime later in October, but we'll cross those bridges when we get there as Addison Bellman will serve to start the second set for Ottawa Glandor. Swing by Blasen game, well along the line. And OG. Begin set number two with a point. What I'm intrigued here is uh, to see how the Titans are going to combat that tip. I think that the, for the setter tipping over, the Titans got burned on that about five or six times. We'll see how they're going to combat that this the second set here. Swing by the Cavaliers, dug out by OG. Kimmett tries to slice it. Yeah. Just got it on the top of corner, top half of the net. And evens the set at one. Definition of a game of inches, right? Another yeah. inch more, and that's down, that's and that's right. a great it's, kill. Right, it's right inside the line. <laughs> right, it's just on the it's floor. Perfect spot, but just missed by an inch. Tipped over by the top of that time. Looking to sneak one over is me and Kanapke trying to set it into the back corner. Swing, block. Yeah. Kind of a uh, Fry tried a little roll shot there and just kind of got it off the palm of her hand and didn't quite get it as far as she wanted it. Cavaliers now serving. Kanapke sends it to the back row, dug out by Krauss. Cross court pass and down for Sienna Fry. She gets the least famous recipe, chicken spike. Yeah, I think that was, she was above the net and that kind of hit the net. It kind of moved the trajectory of, the, of that from the uh, back row. A specialist was, was there and then the, I think the net kind of moved the trajectory and just caused her to miss that one. Kimmett serve, swing by Blasek, dug up. out by Bellman. Good Titan hustle, Bailey Krauss. Yeah. Set from Kanapke, that's ooh, a ooh, massive ooh. swing, ooh. but just wide. She put a lot of mustard yeah, on that one. Yeah, she did. I was like, ooh, get out of the way of that <laughs> one. That would have hurt. That had some frustration behind that. She had some mustard on that one. That was a swing and a that half. That was just impressive. Just wide, Kimmett serve. Kanapke to set, excellent once more. The exact opposite that time, tip put dug out by the Titans. Tipped over by Fry. Blasengame long, and out of Glendorf has an early 4-2 lead in set number two. And Blasengame's kind of, the uh, last couple of times have been long, and uh, yeah, I wonder if the height of the Titans up there in the yeah. front's kind of affecting her a little bit. And the early, in, early on, she was putting those kills away, and the Titans blockers were a little late getting there. It looks like 
Titans have adjusted their block and is causing some problems for Blossom game. Just a hair long on the serve yep. from Caitlin Kimmett. But you're right, the, the front line there of Ottawa Landorf with Sienna Fry and Caitlin Kimmett and Katie Coffin. There's a couple of. Yeah, and you got to throw in Madison McKee, 6'1 freshman with arms that go down to her ankles. So that she's got some <laughs> long arms and, and uses them well to her advantage. Fry the tip, swung. <laughs> right the there's an example. Blasing game. Somehow yes. the Cavaliers get it over. <laughs> As the set to Fry blocked at the net by Coldwater. Back row attack, tipped over, tried to be dumped over Good by job. Kanapke. Yeah. Madison McKee getting them long arms back there to knock that one back. Great rally for both sides here. Fry, the left-handed swing, dug out by Coldwater. Kanapke, quick set. Ooh, good up Put by down Kimmett. Put Blasing game, but Kimmett digs it out. Mag tries to dump it over, no man's land. Etzler, the off roll, Bellman. still, oh. and it drops down yeah. off of Addison Bellman. Yeah. But a great rally for both sides, leaping and diving, yeah. doing whatever they can to keep the ball alive. Yeah, and uh, Etzler said, I'm tired of this, and <laughs> put a, smoked one right at him. But good job by Bellman to get there and try to get it up. That was a heck yeah, of a rally by both teams. Even just to pop yes. it in the air and give yourself a chance. Just a couple good digs and a couple good spikes. Mag the kill. From the far side, gives Ottawa Glendorf the lead once more at 5-4 on the structure out through Ohio by all scoreboard. Good pass and good set. Bailey Kraus, the senior libero, will serve. Knuckleball. Yeah. Ooh, what hustle. Cold nice water play. Will roll it over. Kanapke to go get that one. That was impressive. Tipped at the net by oh, Katie wow. Kaufman and kept alive after the block. Mag another swing off the block. Dug out. Kanapke Blasini tried to get yeah. a tip. This time, this time, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. I think that was the right set. Can, uh, Kanapke had the right idea, but Blasini was just a little quick on that one. And that's you know, just game right. number two of the season. Sure. That you, you'll perfect later on. Yeah, as absolutely. Bailey Krause sends it wide. But You'll get that timing set down here in there's a week or so. Here. Right, and there's difference. You know, right? There's practice speed, there's scrimmage speed, but then also there's game speed, right? The nerves are different. Right. The speed of the game's different. Like you said, they'll get that better as it goes on. Blasi game drops it just inside the line, tucked it in. And we're all square at six. Yep. Because in practice, you're repping that over and over and over, and all of a sudden, a game you haven't done in a while, and here it comes. you got to just <laughs> slow yourself down a smidge. Into the back row. Bellman is set. Fry off Missed the that. side of the yeah. hand. Trying to cut it, I think, because she's seen a spot, but just missed it a little bit. I think that's what she's telling Amber Miller, the yeah. Titan head coach, is I just everybody moved, moved this way. I thought if I could cut it down this line. So Coldwater with the advantage, and the lucky bounce, Blasi game, hits the top of the net, it rolls over and down. Yeah, Coldwater's had about several of those in the last two games. Just home, home cooking nets, I guess. <laughs> you know exactly where you can hit it and get it over. All right. Bellman, over to Mag, tries to dump it over. Kanapke. Ooh, the, what a, a massive swing. She doesn't get cheated, I'm telling you. That was she, impressive. She, she gets all of the Yes, ball she if does. When she, she wants it, a timeout taken. It's 9 6 Coldwater with a quick round. We'll step aside, come back with more second set action here on WOSN. Spikes tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wombok, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. At Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Cavaliers with an early advantage here in set number two. A swing from Katie Kaufman, dug out by the Cavaliers, sent over by Madison Wendell. Fry gets into the middle of the floor. Kanapke sets Etzler, Ooh, and Etzler long. tucks Ooh. it just inside the line. Have looked long from up here, but you know that's why they got the officials down there. Wow, that, that had some pace on it too. Oh, I was gonna say it's it's sometimes hard to tell that that fastball yeah. from Etzler just 
goes flying as the yep. serve from Lazen game a little long. Ten kind of seven. The, yeah, break the Titans needed there. Let's see if they can capitalize on this and get a little run themselves. Sienna Fry, the sophomore, back to serve for the Titans. Into the back row, dug out by Axler. Skinnacki sets Wendell to the floor. Yeah, off the block. Katie Kaufman was there, just kind of went off the side of her arm and went down for the kill for the uh, Cavaliers. Axler coming to the near corner to serve. Pops it up just over the net and down perfect placement from Spencer Axler. Throws the lead to five on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by off the scoreboard. Axler again tipped over and we get a rotation error on the Titans. It's now 13-7 Coldwater. Already with a game in their pocket. <coughs> Looking to move on to the finals of today's tournament. They will play the winner of Fort Laramie and St. Henry. You'll see here momentarily. Swing from Kaufman a little long. If I'm not mistaken, Netzler won on the uh, big run in the, towards yeah, the end yeah. of uh, game number one. And, you know, I think it's because she has such a variety in her serve. She has that knuckleball. She has a speed ball. She has that little floater. Very tough to get service back. Yeah, it's just a stinger right over the top of the sure. net. Sure. Causing problems for the Titans. Set. Ooh, Wendell. nice block. Put it right into the hands yeah. of Katie Kaufman. And that's a momentum killer there that Otto Landorf desperately needed. Yeah, absolutely. The lead had grown to seven. Claudia Mann on to serve for the Titans. Puts it right in the back row. That's a tough one to receive for Blasen yeah. game. Wendell will swing, left it yep. long. Yep. Good, good job by Claudia Mag to pull her arm back. Because I, I thought she was going to hit it and pulled her back and was going a little bit deep. Just at the last minute. Right. Went long from the line. Swing from Wendell. Hits the floor. Good swing. Madison Wendell. 5'11 senior there. Down the line. And Sienna Fry wasn't happy with herself. She thought she could get it. Miami East of New Knoxville about to go to game number three for a spot in the fourth place match. And Sienna Fry will just bump it over. Kanapke takes a swing at it. Dug out by the Titans. Tipped over. Saved by Coldwater. Long pass. This has to be rolled over. Kevin. Game run. There's the tip again. And the Cavaliers find yeah. the floor. That second tip over has uh, been hurting the Titans both games. And I'm sure Coach Miller, after looking at the tape, will get that fixed. Causes some problems for the Titans. Here at Kanapke serving for the Cavaliers. As Kemp gives it a tip, dug out by Coldwater. Wendell takes his swing off the fingertips. And Katie, down. Yeah, Katie Kaufman got her uh, fingers on it, but it, unfortunately it uh, went off the side. 17 9 now the score. A timeout oh, taken. Titans, yep. Again, one of those timeouts designed to break a little momentum here as Coldwater went on a run. 17 to 9 to score here in game number two. Ottawa Glandorf got here by defeating New Knoxville earlier this morning. Coldwater took down Miami East. St. Henry, a winner over St. Mary's and Fort Laramie, beat Versailles. Every game so far here, the Cavaliers spike off has been two sets. Titan Baseball would like to see this one go to three. As they trail 17 9 here in game number two. St. Henry and Fort Laramie coming up here in the second semifinal that you'll see here on WOSN, the championship game. Later on, as Cavaliers get some further instructions, Ottawa Glandorf 
We talked about it in that first set. Struggled with some passing to the setters and then righted it a little bit later in that first set. Things got off to a pretty good start here in set number two for the Titans. Yeah, but I think uh, then Spencer Etzler took over there for a little <laughs> bit there. That serving in a uh, couple good kills and ballooned this lead to eight. Kanapke with the serve. Belmont back set. Dug out on the swing from Coffin. Etzler gets the pass to Boring. Tipped over by Coffin. Two, yeah, they're going to call double on Bellman. Gets a double contact. Yep. Madison Bellman, now Cavaliers doubling up out of the land at 18-9. Ganapke continues to serve for Coldwater. A little bit of a sidewinder. Blocked at yeah. the net, the swing from Katie Coffin, blocked by Madison Wendell and Olivia Broering. Yeah, they both were there. They were on that one. Katie really didn't get much on that, and uh, those two other two said, uh, not, not my house, knock that one back down. 19-9. Kanaski. Set to Kimmett, blocked again. A little bit of frustration showing on the Titans, Kimmett had a good swing there. She just uh, hit it into the net, a little onto the block, and you know some frust frustration there. Another serve from Kanaki. Long cross court set. Nice block again. Kim to Kaufman. <laughs> That's blocked at the net. Wendell's been a blocking machine up there. Madison five. Wendell, 5'11 senior. Yes. Marley Bumar checks in again for the Titans. Madison Kimmett. Caitlin Kimmett. Why? Keep calling her Madison. That's her <laughs> sister. Don't be mad at me. Here can have you. The serve rolled over by Belmer. Back set Kanapke. Big swing yeah. from Madison Wendell. Katie Kaufman and Marley were there and just kind of went off their uh, hands a little bit as uh, Anne Marie. Well, maybe they called net and point Titans maybe there. Yes, you must are have been. Correct. Yeah, 21-10 down the score. A long serve into the back row of the Cavalier receive. Etzler chips it over. Buttlemeyer in a tough spot trying yeah. to get a hand on it. Goes into the net. It's now 22-10. Coldwater. And it'll bring Abigail Schwederman into serve for the orange and black. Looking to close out game number two and move to the finals of their own tournament. Schwederman, 5'7", senior. Sends it wide, and the point goes to OG. 22-11 on the structure outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. As Madison Wendell comes back in the game. Bellman to serve. Oh, we got a ball. We, we, yeah. we get a ball from <laughs> warm ups. Yeah, right. Again, it's sales in St. Mary's. I feel bad. Looks like maybe the freshmen or uh, JV girls over here trying to put a wall right. <laughs> up just, there. But when there's balls flying everywhere, it's pretty tough to do that. So a reserve from Belmont into the back row. Kanaki set to Blasing game. Gets it off to tighten the fence and down. And it's 23 11 cold water. Mm, Blazing game wasn't messing around trying to go over the block like she was earlier. Yeah, she, you know, she kind of wants, but I'm going to go through it. She hit about two or three long in that one. And you can give her credit that she just said, heck, I'm going to try to go through it as the serve goes off Marley Budemeyer out of bounds. The ace for Mia yep. Kanapke puts us at set point here in game number two. 24 11. Cavaliers will have to close it out. Out of the land of rally when they were in this situation in game number one. We'll see. Now things transpire here in game number two. Kanapke, the punch. Belmont, cross court pass to Fry. Tips it over, dug out by Etzler. Etzler pushes it over, wide. And OG staves off elimination. Marley Buttlemeyer goes back to serve the sophomore. Trailing 24-12. 
Kanaki. Excellent. Nice. Locked at the net. Yeah. Madison McKee got her hand on that one. Fry and McKee combined yep. for the block. 24-13. A couple of consecutive points here for the Titans. And I'm going to go on a, on a limb here and say Etzler don't get blocked very often. Uh, you're probably right. It's blocking. Ooh. It's up high and wow. down hard. That was impressive. To end game number two. Yep. Coldwater moves on. 25-20, 25-13 in a two-setter. And they'll play in a championship of their own tournament. They'll play the winner of St. Henry and Coldwater that you'll see when we return here on WOSN. Semi-final number two about to get underway as St. Henry will face Fort Warming for the right to play Coldwater in the 14th annual Cavalier Spike Off Championship. Again, I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Scott Mag, bringing you all the action here. St. Henry got to the semi-final after a victory over St. Mary's earlier this morning, and Fort Warming took down Versailles both games in two sets. So we'll get set to go, similar to Game semifinal number one, both St. Henry and Fort Lormy have pretty high expectations of doing really well this year. As we mentioned, that was probably a district preview between Coldwater and Ottawa Glendorf. St. Henry made the district finals a year ago, and Fort Lormy's had some, a run of success in volleyball as well. They had a spiked off championship here in 2010, and finished runner up in 2009. St. Henry been the champions three times of this 14 years event and finished runner up five times. So they've advanced several times to this stage of the tournament as the first serve by the Redskins is long. I guess we got two Redskins yeah, here right. this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you'll be safe to yeah. say the Redskins, Redskins right? Redskins doing well. Jim right. Rose for Fort Loramie. Swings and yeah, both. Oh. <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do. Looked like it just tucked inside the line from up here, but we're all square at one after a pair of long serves. A libero for St. Henry, Raya Busher serving. Dug out by Fort Lorman. Swing from Summer Hoying. Tip back up in the air. Ooh. Chloe Gells the kill <laughs> oh, yes. for St. Henry. Got a big portion of that yes. volleyball. Yeah, I think she is their go-to. I, I know when uh, last year, at uh, when they ventured into Ottawa Glendorf, I think I had the game, and she was everywhere. Busher serve just long. Most servers probably a little bit uh, amped up than uh, this game is probably, I would say, one of the obviously top teams here, both of these guys, and they're kind of, Amped up to play each other. Yeah, and you want you want to spot in that final right. to see right. a similar situation as yep. Jenna Barhorse serve is long. Lydia Whirling, the setter for St. Henry. Well serve. She gets that one into the back row. Big swinging down for Victoria Mesher, the junior. Drops one in. So we've alternated points, all square three. Summer Hoying drops back to serve for the Reds, for the Fort Lorne Redskins. Into the far corner. Dug out. Swung nice on drop placement by yes. Molly Wendell. Wendell. That is a nice couple of kills for St. Henry. Spikes tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. St. Henry with a couple of them. Here in the early goal, going as Chloe Gills. The senior outside hitter. For St. Henry. Looks to punch one over. Does, and she drops in an ace. Good spot. Made the uh, made Luthman uh, back up to try to get that one, and uh, kind of her backing up, she kind of hit it off their palms of her hands and short-armed it a little bit. Gels puts it in virtually the same spot. Yep. Fort Lorme just drops it out as Summer Hoyne tried to squeeze it into the line, couldn't drop it. And 
St. Henry has grown to a 6-3 advantage here with Chloe Gelser. Another difficult receive. What a great hustle by Barhorse. Gels the swing, dug out by Fort Morgan. Set, swing, long. Tip, yep. For Victoria Mission. But I think got but tipped got at the net, it. yeah. Got it. Just a fingertip on it. So the point. Goes to Fort Laramie. Goes to Laramie. Mesher now serving. Just a junior. We get a ball roll in from the St. Mary's and her sales game for a spot in the fourth place matchup. So they will play. Out of a Glendor or New Knoxville. Ooh, Swing nice block. block. Yeah. Avery Brandway. Avery Brandway, yeah. Got her hands up. She was high over the net and had her hands over. It was great blocking position there. That was quite impressive by Brandway. Mesher serves again. A little Just long. long. Yeah. With the nerves, I don't know. This I, I've seen more long serves in this match than, <laughs> than yeah. all day. I think. Well, and I, I wondered if uh, Fort Lawney played on Court B, yeah. which is a little bit different. Like, you know, yeah, if you're right. on Court A, you're used to playing in this style of sure. setup, I think. But uh, St. Henry played on Court A earlier this morning, so uh, not unused to this court. It's rolled over by Morgan Boimer. Dug out by St. Henry after the swing. Another cut down the line. Yeah, I think she hit a, the net, yeah. Red skin in the net. And so for Lormy. Balmer yeah. there, that, it was a heck of a hit. I mean, that one almost went uh, 10 degrees to her right. That was <laughs> such a, like she cut it and it was, couldn't stop her momentum. She got carried her into the pole, actually. Ailey Grillo on to serve for the Redskins. Working from that far corner and hits him into the net. Throws the lead on the structure. I'll throw Ohio by off the scoreboard to two for St. Henry. As Lauren Tiemann comes in to serve now for St. Henry. Tiemann a junior. She'll put it in the air. Knuckleball into the back row. Set over by Jenna Barhorst. Dug out by the Redskins. Swung on by Foley Gells. Barhorst Ooh, another that's a nice set. Block. Blocked right at the net. Yep. Tipped over by Fort Lorman. Dug out by St. Henry. Tried to send over. Did Lydia Whirling, but it's set right back to her by Fort Lorman. And they'll cut the lead to one. Yeah. Busher was at the net there. Was being a force. Randall either serve, and she gets the ace. Gales. All square at eight. Yep. Just a tough serve to handle. Yeah. Gales kind of was put in a hard spot there. Yeah. Sent it right back to her. Doug digs that one out. Good Popped hustle. over by St. Henry. Good hustle by Whirling to get to that one. Summer Hoying a kill. Oh, oh. Out of bounds, got I believe. Yeah. wide. Yeah. Great hustle by Whirling to go get that one. She had to run from about the sea and the Cavalier to the bench to knock that one back up. The serve from St. Henry. Down the line on the far side. Swing Point, from yep. Point. A little mustard on it as it goes off Ariah Busher. We're all square at night again here. And a equally played first set here between the Redskins. Skyler Albers was served for Fort Warren. Busher the dig. Swing for Gells right to the floor. Yeah, I had some pace on it. Good pass, good set. Gells got a great set and put it away. That was impressive by her. Good swing. Got all of that volleyball. Yes, she sure did. Busher, the left-handed serve. Deep into the back row. Far horse. Point. Off the block. We're all square at 10. We've all turned points a couple of different times here <laughs> in this first set. Chase the ball down in the other court as one of the Versailles managers 
you know, tracking it down. The serve from Fort Lorne's in a room camp. Big swing by Gels once more, and another up high and down hard for the senior. Tell you, she sees an opening, man. She puts it away. Molly Wendell looks to check in for St. Henry. Trying in to find the for Lauren Tiemann. Had to track down the extra ball. Plenty of whirling to serve for St. Henry. Popped up. Point swings. Off the block, yep. Blocked and down. Out of play, so Summer Holling gets another kill. Spikes tonight, brought to you by Lee's famous recipe, chicken. So we're all knotted up at 11. Looks like for Sales has a game one lead on court B. Ryan Bush with the dig. Tipped over, dug out by Fort Worth. Great hustle. Somehow popped it over. Yells the swing. Off Locked the block, the yeah. Down. Mesher was yeah, there, but it just went off the side of her. Uh, she climbed that yeah, ladder. Sure yeah. did. She was there as a force, but give Gels credit that she knocked that off the side. Right there, there was two twin towers up there in the block, but she did a good job to go off the side of the block. Gels the serve. Pop the brand away. And the point goes to Fort Lorman. Yeah, I don't know, something. The official Steve Trout just doesn't like got, nine gave, or something. Gave a number. Yeah. Patricia Rose and Beck, and she'll accept that explanation. So all square at 12. This little barrel, Katie Lukman serves for Fort Warren. Gelson the back row attacks. Lukman the pass. Ooh. Swing by Brando. He's down. Yeah, that was that that was a nice nice set, nice swing. Hit the wide open spot there. That was impressive. Fort Lorme out with the lead on the structure out for Ohio by all the school board. Lutheran serves again. And another ace. I might have that kind of had my knuckleball in there. <laughs> that kind of there. And it's like it's so Busher doesn't really miss. I mean, no, she's she, she's pretty solid back there as the uh, uh, libero, but you know, she kind of was going two different ways there. Lutheran. With a two-point advantage for Fort Warren, sends that one long. Ryan Busher, the libero, comes out of the ball game for St. Henry. Random Manga comes in to serve. The junior looking to knock things up at 14. Lolly popped over. Set. Brando, he finds the floor. I think that's Albers, actually. Number two got that one, I believe. Fifteen, thirteen. Laura me the lead. Haley Grillo to serve. Push through the big set swing. Dug out by Fort Laura Another one put right to the floor by Skyler Albers. She does a good job in the middle. She patrols that middle and takes a couple steps back and swings hard and uh, takes care of it when she gets a good swing of that. A couple of really good kills yes. on both sides. Yes. Here so far in set number one after the early set jitters, we've settled in. Yeah, we have. Had some high quality kills. It's a swing. A stinger just over the top of the net. A swing. And Carly Busher dug out by Fort Warren and they'll roll it over. Swing blocked from Boimer. Cross court pass. Oh, and that that's Brandon Way. Brandon with some sauce on yeah, it. Yeah, and what I liked the best was the swing and then her excitement after she swung sure, and then she it, knew. I think after her. Fist pump was harder than the swing of the ball. That was impressive. 17-13 lead for Fort Laramie. St. Henry calls timeout. We'll step aside as well here in set number one of the semifinal number two of WOSN.
Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by all Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. I'm so jealous when I see those commercials because I need to be a yeah, me too. I need a, I need a structure <laughs> because those things are impressive. They are nice. It's the stinger just at the top of the net. Set, swing Run by St. Henry, blocked at the net by Fort Loramie. Put oh. over and down. Yeah, by nice little roll shot there. Morgan Boimer. Bo yeah, Boimer. And that's what you want if you're St. Henry out of the timeout. Is sure. One, to cut the lead a little bit, but two, just stop that momentum. That Absolutely. Fort Loramie had went on a little roll there. And now Lauren Tiemann will serve for St. Henry. Looking to inch back into this, into the back row. Brandewee tips it over, but wide. <laughs> Trying to place it and put a little bit too much to the left. Back-to-back -back points for St. Henry. Trims the lead to two at 17-15. Into the middle of the floor on the serve. Brandewee oh. with time to attack. Yeah. Yeah. Tipped and out. And Fort Loramie. Give St. Henry blockers, they're there. Just Brainaway just had too much on that to go <laughs> right through him. It's going to be tough to, oh. to put, put any anything in front of when she gets a running yeah. start. To she has got some uh, muscle behind that ball. Yells in the back. Digs it out. Great Tipped dive. By the Fort Laramie Redskins. Trying to be dumped over. Saved by Fort Laramie. Tipped over by Albers. St. Henry, to their credit, keeps it alive. And then a miss hit off the side. Carly Busher trying it. I like the play. Trying a little misdirection there. She kind of ran around the setter, and I, it was open. She just tried to cut it a little bit too too much and went into the net. But I like I like the adjustment. Four-point lead for Fort Loramie. Raya Busher receives the serve. Tipped over by Whirling. Saved by Fort Loramie. Mesher oh. finds the spot. Wow. Or Summer Hoyne, I think. Summer Hoyne, yeah. Summer Hoyne finds the spot to grow the lead to five. What I am I impressed is Hoyne, how quickly she gets back for the for the uh, spike. You, when they get it over, man, she's sprinting back. When she's over there on the on the right side or outside, she's running back to that Cavalier uh, icon, and she's ready to go and momentum, and she's bringing the force to the spike. Swing, big yeah. one from Kate Carly Busher. Yeah. She puts it to the floor to cut that lead back down to four. St. Henry looking for a spot in the finals for the second consecutive year. Finished runner up last year, two for sales. That's a serve. Goes for an ace for the Redskins. Morgan Boimer cuts the lead to three at 2017 here in game number one of semifinal number two. Winner moves on to play Coldwater. He took down Ottawa Blandor for earlier this morning. A serve a little long, and a point goes St. Henry to Fort Loramie. I beg your pardon. 21 17 on the structure outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Skyler Albers serving for Fort Loramie. Dug out by Gells. Whirling the set. Gells the kill. Wow, that was, she hit that across her body. I, she had, you could tell she's an athlete because when yeah. she jumps, she just hangs in the air, you know, like. And she's just got hang. time to adjust yeah. it, whatever she wants to right. do with the ball. Right, it's. She's got time. When she jumps in the air, that, that is impressive. Busher, Lolly pops it over. Set to Horn, blocked at the net. Yes. As Ellie Fullen came. Yeah, they've been there. They've been there a lot this game, and uh, they finally got one. Normally, it's been off the block, or the, she just got one finally. 21-19, lollipop just over the net. Point a big swing and down. Yeah. She attacks the ball. I'm telling you, I, I just a whole impressive to watch. She gets back, and when they set it, she is coming full throttle and is attacking that ball. Fun to, fun to watch. You've you got to have your block oh, set. You better perfectly. believe it. Because <laughs> there is a freight train crumbing at that ball, and she's going full force right at it. Serve from Barhorst. Swung on by Gels. Blocked at the net. Whirling. Back set to Gels. She'll take another swing at it. Tip. Down. Yeah. 
Mesher, Mesher and uh, Freeling are right there. The, both those two causes some problems. Lydia Whirling on the serve for St. Henry. Gets it just over the top of the net. Tipped over, saved yeah. by the Redskins, but it. Good adjustment by Mesher to see that open spot. I, it was quick. She made one quick little glance when she was going to kind of look to the left and seen that opening. She went up and tipped it. I think she had tipped on her mind, but what great control of her mind and body to get that over there to see that. Gell's the big swing. Got it out in front of her yeah. a little bit. She didn't need right. any help putting it No, she more. didn't. And again, it's, it's like she hangs in the air and then just like whack. You know, she's up in the air and just waits, 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 and the last minute, bam. And then the throttle comes and <laughs> yeah. just drops it to the floor. And Gell's now serving. Trailing 23-21. Brandewee punches it over. Dug out by Gell's. Whirling the set. Tipped over by Fullenkamp, but saved by Fort Loramie with the... Now it hit the, <laughs> uh, hit the candy cane. Great job and by the uh, officials. And line judge pointed it out. That it's a tough spot to see yes. from up there, and a timeout called by Fort Moore. Yeah. We'll step aside as well. St. Henry called their way back. 23-22 in set number one here on WOSN. Twenty-three twenty-two. the score. St. Henry put together a little run here. To shrink this lead to one as Chloe Gells will look to serve and tie things up. Into the back row. Cross court set to Brandewee. Joust at the net. Saved so much, by They want a double hit there, but ooh, what a block. Good job by Mesher getting her arm over there to block that one. Good job by Mesher. She was well up and over and blocked that one down, but. St. Henry, to their credit, they got it back up, but into the net. And just a little indecisive <laughs> yeah. there, and now a set point for Fort Loramie. As Jenna Barhorst serves, a libero, dug out by the St. Henry libero, Riley, B Riley Busher, cut to the middle of the floor. Back set, swung on, block, drops to the floor as Ellie Frilling, Ellen Frilling gets the game-ending kill. 25-22, set number one goes to Fort Lorme. We'll step aside, come back with second set action here on WOSN. Spikes tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Set two about to get underway after Fort Loramie took set number one, 25-22. And really, Scott, just the, the ability from the outside hitters and middle blockers for both sides so far has just been so impressive to play at this yeah. level in game number two of the season. Yeah, the, what do I would say, the play at the net has just been fabulous. I'm just so impressed about both teams are getting two people on every block, it seems like. And, uh, you know, and still how the kills are getting past them because we talked about how uh, Hoyne comes like a freight train to the ball and goes to tag, Gales just hangs. It's, it's, it's impressive how they're getting these kills down because the blocks are being there. Like right here's two, boom. Chloe Gales touches yeah. just inside the line after the set from Lydia Whirling. And starting set number two right where she left off in set yeah. number one, several kills for the senior. But like I was saying, is they're getting both teams are getting two people at the ball to like block, and that's that's impressive how well they're working together and, and moving their feet and getting where they're supposed to be. Ryan Busher to serve. Sent up for Hoy. Dug out by St. Henry. Big swing from Ellie Fullenkamp. And Ellie Fullenkamp gets the kill and an early 2-0 advantage for St. Henry. Busher, the libero, to serve. Pops it into the back row. Set from Barhorst, dumped it over. Cross-court pass, Gells blocked at the net. 
St. Henry keeps it up. Gels will tip it over the block that time and drop it home. Things starting in set number one, the way the St. Henry Redskin faithful want to see it. Busher into the back row, popped up into the air. We get a double. Yeah. Yes, sir. Four nothing, St. Henry. You know, another good thing about Fort Laramie is they got Barnhorse, who is the setter, but she's also a pretty good blocker up in the front yeah. when she's up there, so that helps immensely. Mesher tips it over. Dug out. Gells tips it with the left hand. Play at the net. Put over by St. Henry. Point swings. And down. Yep, off the block. There's no finesse when she comes at that ball. No. I, there's not many tips. She's just rearing back and letting it fly. And if you want to block it, good luck, she says. Your fingertips are going to hurt. You're going <laughs> yeah, to get right. away this one. Right. Barhorst sends it over for Fort Loramie. Back set. Swing by Fullenkamp. Popped into the air by Fort Loramie. Blocked at the net after Ellen Frilling gave it a ride. Yeah. And it's a 5-1 advantage for St. Henry. On the structure out there, Ohio by all the scoreboard. Barnhorst tried something different. She went back set. First, one of the first times tonight I've seen trying something different, trying to confuse them a little bit. Sand into the back row. Big Ooh. swing. <laughs> Got all of that one here, Victoria Mesher. Mesher, yes. Wow. And a few uh, foot stomps there for the excitement. Boy, she. She got that one in the middle. That was a great set by Barnhorst, and she put that one away. Big first kill of the set. Victoria Mesher hopes to get Fort Lormy going. Chloe Gells comes back with one yeah. of her own. She, if hope people from uh, could see this on TV about how she reached back. I mean, that wasn't a that wasn't a perfect set, and she put that one away. How she reached behind her head, and that was impressive. Spikes tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, and we've got a bevy of them here as Gell sends it into the back row. It's set by Barhorn. From the back row attack, just long. Summer Hoyne gave that one a ride. Yeah. It's kind of questioning why she didn't go for it, but obviously she knows a heck of a lot more than I do. 7-2 the score. Brandowy, tip. Dug out by St. Henry. Barhorse to the wide side. Long. Wendell. By Molly Wendell. Had some pace on it, just got to get, get it down enough. That was 7 3 on the shot shot. Throw a higher by all scoreboard. St. Henry looking to force set number three. Fort Lormie looking to move to the championship. Busher gets it over. Cross court pass to Brando. He finds the floor. I thought Busher got that one, man. She she, she was laid out. For oh, the she sure did. She was there, and then she went and tried, and just uh, in short, she was there though. Katie Luthman playing libero today for Fort Loramie. Serves into the net. Brandon Mangan comes in again for Ellie Fullenkamp to serve. She'll pop it into the back corner. Quick set to Brando. He sent right back to her. Fort Lormie able to keep it over. Joust at the net. All the time called net. Oh. So it looked like Lauren Teeman got in the net. And it's 8-5 now. On the structure out there, Ohio by all scoreboard. Fort Warming will serve. Into the back row, dug out by Raya Busher. Set from Whirling. Cut just a little long, Molly Wendell. Jaden Rose will continue to serve for Fort Loramie. 
8 6 to score. Whirling the set, big swing at the net. Dug out by Fort Laramie. Another swing blocked by Molly yeah. Wendell. Yeah, good job by Wendell to get there and get that block because Brandaway was coming with some pace and Wendell is not having it. So a three point lead here in set number two for St. Henry on the structure outdoor Ohio by on the scoreboard. Lauren Tiemann serving for the Redskins. Dug out. Back set from Barhorst. And I can't get it over. Yeah, I think they kind of got in each other's way. And Timeout taken by Fort Laramie head coach John Rogers will step aside as well. 10 6, St. Henry the lead here on WOSN. Set number two of semifinal number two here at the Cavalier Spike Off. 14 game Cavalier Spike Off. Fort Laramie with a game under their belt. St. Henry with a lead here in game number two. This is set from Barhorst into the back row. Blocked with the net. Nice. Great job by Busher there to get her hand up and block that one down. Yeah, Hoying tried to send it over, but just set right back to her. So the lead grows to five for St. Henry. Stinger just over the top of the net. Oh, what hustle by Barnhorst going Great job up. Wow. By Fort Laramie to get it over. Cross court pass. Put down by Morgan Balmer. Oh, Balmer. And St. Right. Henry now doubling up Fort Laramie. Yeah, a nice spot right between the blockers. Good job by Balmer. Sent over by St. Henry. And that's an ace. Redskins. In firm control here yeah. in set number two. For Lormy, not crisp passing is uh, give St. Henry credit. They're changing up how they're serving, causing some problems. Just a little long on the serve. So that will snap a streak of St. Henry points. And send it. Avery Brandaway back to serve. Into the nets for Sales and St. Mary's wrap up their ball game. Sales got the win in that one. St. Henry with the serve. <laughs> and another ace. Yeah, Barnhorst had to go a long way to even get a hand on that one as it goes over to the other court. And she's doing a nice job. Yes. Not just, hey, we just got to get this over. Like I know right. we're not going to get a great a great look here, so we might as well just get it over and live to fight another day, just and, doing what she can. And I, I'm impressed of her effort of getting where she needs to get to, to get to those balls. Back set to Brandaway. Dunk out by St. Henry. Swing from the back row. Barhorse right. dumps it over. She hits the deck. It will get right back up, but it's put to the floor. Good tip spot there. Good By job. Lydia Whirling. Yep. Whirling, good placement there. And now it's a nine-point advantage for St. Henry. And give St. Henry, the coaching staff, adjustments, right? They're they're uh, hitting it over on two. They're uh, setting outside, inside. They're changing things up and keeping Fort Laramie on their uh, toes, not getting them blocks. Long pass. Tip two. is down for Hoyne. Oh, no. Uh, yep, you're right. Double contact. Yep. Fort Laramie wants another chance to talk about it. St. Henry, a 10-point advantage here in set number two on WOSN. Spike tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. 17-7, St. Henry in firm control of game number two. Looking to force a third and final game here in semifinal number two of the 14th annual Cavalier Spike Off. Serve from the Redskins, hits the net and drops. The lucky bounce for St. Henry. Everything going their way right now. It just hit enough to roll over. Yeah. 
And Morgan Boimer dropped it in, growing the lead to 11, as big as it's been. Hits the top of the net again, but that one a little more grip on it. Dug out by Raya Busher. Swing from Gellis. Nice block. Sent yeah. right back to her. Yeah, Albers right there at the front. Got a nice block. Way to kind of stop the bleeding there, so to speak. Absolutely. And Fort Lormie's in need of a couple of yeah. energy plays. Get themselves back into this one. Trailing by 10. Skylar Albers will send it away. Back set. Gellis got a little bit out in front of her. Yeah, but I uh, believe. Mesher got that one. Another Mesher, block. Yes, Mesher and Hoyne were right there on that one. So Alberts will continue to serve. 18-9 on the structure out there, Ohio by all the scoreboard. The senior sends it away. Dug out by Busher. Whirling. Gels tipped yeah. in the net. Barhorse got that one. Again, setter. What a luxury it is to have a setter that can block like she does. He, it's impressive her. Uh, yeah, that size of a setter is yeah. not generally something you see all that much. And her net coverage is impressive for a setter, you know what I mean? Yeah, sent into the back row. Raya Bush sets up Gels. That was well long. Yeah. And a little rally here yeah. for the Redskins. Four yeah. straight points. Thanks. And a timeout taken by St. Henry. We'll keep it here. St. Henry looking to advance to the championship game for the second consecutive year here at the Cavalier Spike Off. Finished runner-up last year, two for sales. So, so far today, St. Henry took down St. Mary's in their first game and now playing round number two. Earlier this morning, Coldwater beat Miami East and then beat Ottawa Glandorf to advance the championship. Meanwhile, Miami East and New Knoxville played in game number six. New Knoxville will play for fourth place against Versailles. And St. Mary's will take on Miami East in the seventh and eighth place game. Ottawa Glandorf awaits the loser here of game number two in our semifinal action. As Trisha Rosenbeck, St. Henry coach, gets her final instructions to her Redskins squad. Skylar Albers back behind the line, ready to serve for Fort Loramie putting together a couple of consecutive points for, for the Shelby County Redskins. Drops that one just over the net. Whirling the set. Oh, nice block. Big swing from Busher, but it's set right back to her. Gels this time from the outside. A little long. Just wide long. Yes, he beat the block, but she just hit it. She went down the line. Good spot, but she just hit a little long. So after trailing by as many as 11, Fort Loramie now cut the lead to six. Albers into the back row. Back set, whirling, Gels, the swing, block. Good hustle, point to go get that one. Brandwee, dug out by Busher. Whirling to Gels once more, cuts it down yeah. the line. That's a great spot. Wow, was that a spot, man. She went past the two blockers. What a great set, too. Put it right there where, where she could adjust in the air. And she's very good at that. That's so. a much needed point for Shane Yes, it Henry. was. Just to stop that bleeding a bit, as Raya Busher comes on to serve now, punches it over. Oh, nice spot, and, nice and spot. Perfect yeah. spot for Jenna Barhorst. Yeah, I'd seen her kind of look the side, and she's seen that back corner open, and and uh, that'll, that'll keep them uh, blockers from each inching up and trying to take away a tip, putting that back corner. Barhorst now serving. Nice one. Tipped over. Dug out by Fort Lorimer. A big <laughs> swing and kill for Summer Hoyne. It's Fort Lorimer. Builds a little momentum. Cuts the lead to five on back-to-back -back least famous recipe chicken kills. Busher to Gels. Dug out by Fort Loramie. Barhorst able to put it right back in the middle of the floor, but blocked by Follenkamp. Gels takes a swing at it, blocked at the net. Redskins able to get a set up. Boing. Dug out by St. Henry. A wow. swing and finds a yeah. spot, does Gels. That was a heck of a volley there for both teams there, making some plays and digging up, and then Gels finds it down the line, and it's one heck of a spike there. St. Henry setter Lydia Whirling will serve. 
leading 2014. Barhorst. Big swing from Hoying, but dug out by Busher. Barhorst will do it again to Hoying, and she yeah. gets it down. Wendell was there and just kind of upset. She uh, did, blocked it, but it was on her side. Didn't get quite a, over the net with the, the block. And Summer Hoying serving for Fort Laramie, right in the middle of the floor. Back set to Gels. Off the oh, tip. What a Dive and try there by Luthman. So point goes to St. Henry. They now lead by six. 21-15, looking at four set three here in semifinal number two. Winner moves on to play Coldwater in the championship match. Barhorst just tips it over. She was over the yep, net, I think, yeah. To say she yeah. reached over onto the St. Henry side. 22-15 down the score. Fort Lormie one set one, 25-22. Chloe Gell serving. Cross court pass, Brandewey tipped. Great, Great hustle. Saved by St. Henry. Rolled over <laughs> but blocked it to that. Mesher's been up there all day. Back set, swung on by Frilling. Great rally by both sides. Nice tucks spot. Tucks it in the yeah. line. Balmer, nice spot. She's she's had a couple this uh, match so far that she's hit that back corner. And nice placement. 23-15. St. Henry looking to close out set number two. Gills, the serve into the back corner. Tough receive, handle. Brandaway swings. Nice Got spot. It in the line. Yeah. We didn't have much pace on it, but it was no. a spot. It was, you know. Great spot, that back corner, tough to hit. Yeah, it didn't come in a million miles an hour. Right. Just put it in the right spot. She sure did. 23-16. See if the Redskins can put together a rally here. Luthman puts it in the net. And now set point for St. Henry. Brianna Mangan on to serve. Looking to close it out for St. Henry. Pops it over. Barhorst, cross court pass to Brandaway. Dug out by Mangan. Gels from the back row. Wow, Great what a bar dig horse. by Barhorst. And she's spiked. Not, not bad. She's a setter. She can dig. <laughs> Tell you what, she's impressive. 24, and only a junior. 24 17, the score remains. That's a great individual effort yeah. there by Jenna Barhorst. Into the back row. Right at the net. Swing from Busher. Oh. And that's a tough play. Yeah, that was for set yeah. number two to end. But that's how it goes down in the books. 25 17 for the first time today. The 14th annual Cavalier spike off. We'll go to set number three. We'll see who moves on to the championship when we return here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Pivotal game number three about to get underway here in the semifinals of the 14th annual Cavalier Spike Off. I'm here at Sea Run, joined alongside Scott Mag. And seen some high quality volleyball to start the season. Absolutely. When you got two good teams, you probably expected three, three sets. St. Henry. Takes set number two after Fort Laramie won set number one, 25-22. St. Henry wins 25-17 at set number two, and they will serve to begin set number three. Sent into the back row. Barhorst sets up Albert. Skyler Albers, but a little long. Mercer County Redskins send it away, hit the net. Barhorse tried to tip it over, but had her mind read. 
Ooh, nice idea. <laughs> Carlin Busher <laughs> yeah. tried to just tuck it where they weren't, but yeah, set just, just wide. Yeah, great idea. Great spot would have been if it would have dropped. But. And you saw that she, <laughs> when she was coming down, she thought, I've got that in a perfect spot. And it right. just was a little long. And it's a great idea. Chloe Gells will try to chop it down. Instead, dug out by Fort Loramie. Popped up in the air after the holding swing. Gels tips it to the middle of the floor. Saved by Fort Loring, but it goes up and under the net. Yeah. So just like set number two, the first couple of points go to St. Henry. Gels give her credit. You know, she was pace, pace, pace hitting it. Now she's more in roll shots and placement this, this, uh, this match so far. Going to swing, dug out by St. Henry. Long pass to Gels, so just pop it up oh, in the yeah. air. They don't all have to have a <laughs> bunch of mustard on them. She right. pops it up over the net and down. And Chloe Yells gets the point. Another serve from Busher into the back row, dug out by Brandewing. Point to swing wide. Kind of starting this one off like we did the uh, game number two here. St. Henry with a 4-1 advantage. Popped up into the air. Mesher tried to put it up and over. Could block it to net by Gels and Fullenkamp. It's an early St. Henry advantage. Busher, another swing. Bar horse back set. Mesher put it over, but Whirling tried to tip it over from her setter spot and put it into net. That'll stop the bleeding for Fort Loramie momentarily. She had the spot. She just didn't get it over enough. That was a great idea. Ellen Frilling back in the game for Fort Loramie. Jenna Bar horse to serve. Trailing 5-2. Swing from full and camp block, but out of play. And the point goes to St. Henry. I believe Mesher and Hoyne were there. Blocked it out of bounds. St. Nope. Mary's in Miami East playing in game number 12, I think, on <laughs> court number B. The ball from our game went over there for just a moment. Oh. A tough spot there for Fort Loramie as Avery, Avery Brandley. Sent it back into the middle of the floor. It's a miscommunication. Sees it drop. Yeah. Two of them just stood there and kind of like, you get it, no, you get it. And before you know it, it's on the ground. 6-2 the score for St. Henry. You're in game number three. Barhorst. Pass oh. to measure. <laughs> just the perfect set. And she wow. sends it right to the floor. Yeah. Seen the spot. Good swing. Tack the ball and put it down. That was just one of those you could see coming. That's textbook. <laughs> you just get a perfect set, yeah. perfect placement. Mm -hmm. It's like a YouTube video right there. <laughs> Gell's swing Ooh. of her own, but wide. It's just, I don't know if uh, TV does it justice, how she just hangs and then bang when she swings that arm. Hoing sends it over. Whirling. Set to full and camp, blocked. Tipped in the air, bar horse cross court pass. Brandewey dug out by Busher. Whirling the pass to Gels. Saved by Fort Lauderdale, but put right to the floor at the net by Ellie Fullenkamp. And the lead grows for St. Henry. Tell you, you, you dig a ball and miss hit it over there close by the net. There's some, there's some middle hitter or somebody that are gonna put it right, right back there's down. There's a strong yeah. chance it's coming right back to you. Right, and it's going straight down. Gell's tough serve. Brandewey tips it over. Dug out by Gell's. Whirling. Set to full and camp, and she puts it down. Good spot. A lead is now back to five for St. Henry. Nine to four here in set number three. As the senior Gell's will serve. Just over the net. Wow, great Somehow hustle by on A couple of one arm swings for Full yes. Lorme gets it over. Full and camp. Out of range. She just put it wide. Yeah. Try to go around the block and got it just wide.
9-5, the advantage, Fort Laramie trailing. Serving is Victoria Mesher, the junior. Tough knuckleball serve. Yes. Swung on by Boimer and down. Yeah. You know, she don't get many chances, but when she does, she puts it away. She does a good job. Second game, I think she had two back uh, corner uh, kills and starting game off number three with a good kill. Brianna Manga now on to serve for St. Henry, leading 10-5 here in game number three. Into the back row, dug out by Hoy. And just popped in the air in a tough spot. And another point for the Redskins. Mangan. Into the back row. Barhorse, quick set yeah. to Albers. Dug out by Mangan in the back row. Popped up, Fort Lormie. Brandewey swings. Dug out by St. Henry once more. Swing tucked it just inside the line. Oh. No, they'll say it's out. <laughs> oh. Well, no, I, that was close. If it was out, it wasn't by much. I tell you, uh, Mangan came in as a server and she made some heck of yeah. digs there. And then she could, <laughs> you know, come in for the server specialist, but she made, she made a right, couple Just in good, that back corner, just yeah, kept right, she getting just, peppered. Right, and she kept digging it up. Not sure what the call is yeah, there. Foot fold, I think. Oh. So St. Henry tallies another point. Yeah. I don't... So look at an explanation as Jenna Barhorse asks Steve Trout, our official, just what the ruling is there. She'll run it over to head coach John Rogers. Now Barhorse will. Get ready to receive the St. Henry serve. Warren Teeman sends it away into the back row off the basketball hoop and down. Yeah. Wow, that one on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> Ping ponged about everywhere right. it could here in the gym. It hit great. the basketball hoop, it's raised up. Yeah, great job by the Fort Laramie Redskins yeah, to get that one to at least play it off the bounce. Yeah. Serve from Fort Laramie. Gels from the Ooh, back row. Albers at the <laughs> blocked by Albers. Yeah, I tell you. Both teams' net coverage has been really, really impressive these three games. I'm Leads down to four. 12-8. Swung on. What Somehow up. popped oh, up. Fort wow. Laramie able to get it over. Whirling tried to tip it. Only not a block there. Into the back row. Quick set, Albers tips over. Busher, the bump. Put over, oh, wow. barely pancaked yeah. by Allie Grillo. But the point goes to St. Henry. They lead by five, 13 to eight, here in game number three. Balmer again. Nice spot. That one into the net. Point. Fort Laramie. Looking to climb back in. Alberts, the senior, serving. Into the back row, dug out. Whirling, set, big Ooh. swing. My yeah. goodness gracious. Busher. Carly Busher. Got all of it. Super excited when she hit that one. Raya Busher nearly had the ace. Fort Lormie able to roll it over. Whirling. Gels blocked at the net. Point got it. And may, may, maybe a little bit of mesher too. Third, 14 to 10. Our score. Here in set number three. Jenna Barhorst serving. Down the line. Put right back towards St. Henry. They're able to dig it out. 
Ryan Busher rolls it over. Just a chip shot, barely over the net. Cross court pass, big <laughs> swing it down for Hoyne. <laughs> it's come. It, she does not do anything uh, with a little pace. It's no, coming it's, full throttle at you. And you're going to have to handle it. <laughs> right. Spikes brought to you by Lee's famous <laughs> recipe chicken, and that's a big one right there. Yes. Get a little condensation mopped up from the floor. She's got leaping and diving. Yes. Here at the 14th annual Cavalier Spike Off. 14-11. Every time St. Henry has stretched that lead just a little bit, Fort Loramie's yeah. cut into it. Barhorst will serve once more. Joust at the net. <laughs> yeah, just jousting better than than Mesher there, trying to push it back, but St. Henry was able to knock it over on her side. Now Lydia Whirling, the center for St. Henry, about to serve. Back set, swung on, drops in. Yeah. Good back Mesher. set, yeah, Mesher was a little circle around the center, and that was impressive. Put it just in the perfect spot. Mm -hmm. Just like that, it's 15-12. As Hoing will serve for four Loramie. Dug out by Gels. Cross court pass, cut down. Wendell tried to take a swing at it. Instead, Mesher will tip it to the back row. Whirling, Gels, tipped up by Barhorst. Frilling takes a swing at it. Set right back to her. Fort Lormy back the other way. Brandewee popped oh, in the play air by, by Raya Busher. Busher. Wow. Swung on by oh, Gels, but it's blocked to the net. Mesher. Oh. Right there, bang. 15-13. As Hoyne continues to serve for Fort Lormy. Just over the net, Raya Busher sent <laughs> right to the floor. Yeah. We kind of talked about this earlier. You make a bad bump from the back row, and it gets to the net. Oh, they'll say that she was over the oh, line. Oh, wow. They say that Summer only crossed the net. So St. Henry gets the point. So the momentum stops for just a little bit. Chloe Yells tucks it inside the line. Yeah. So a bit of a swing there for the yeah, Fort Lormie Redskins. Yeah, deflation of the, uh, you know, measure with a kill Just a there. massive yeah. block. And, and then, then they're over the net, and then they kind of miscommunication there in the back for a couple points. And that one yeah. does go a little long from Chloe Yells. 17-14 here in this all-important set number three. Mesher to serve. That one is long. Not by much. No. Get the volleyball from Miami East and St. Mary's over here just for a moment. Now Brianna Mangan. To serve with a four-point lead. Into the back row, dug out by Fort Loramie. Barhorst tipped over by Brandewey. Cross court pass hits the top of the net and block. Yeah. Smalley Wendell gave yeah. a ride. And Albers and uh, Brandewey are right there, too. And for to get that front line, just those three girls right now for Fort Warren, you get Brandewey, Albers, and Barhorst in the front. That's, you you got to either have some sauce on it or put it in the perfect spot. Yeah, right. It's a serve long from Hallie Grillo. Grillo. Nineteen fifteen to score on the structure by structure the structure outdoor Ohio by Alts scoreboard. Tongue twister there for that's, you. That's, <laughs> that's my fault, not theirs. <laughs> the serve popped in the air. Has to be rolled over. Redskins did it. Whirling. The set. Swung on. Blocked at the net. Pop back up in the air. Ryan Busher. Pops it up once more into the perfect spot by Bomber. She's very good at that roll shot over the block and just rolls it over. So 
2015. A race to 25. Here in game number three. Put right in the perfect spot by Seven yeah. Hoyne. Yeah. Just kind of seeing her reaction. She really didn't swing hard on that no. one, and she kind of like, yeah, you know, finally. Just enough on it. Right, but normally that's not what she, she's more of a full throttle. Avery Brandaway. Long. St. Henry. Moves to 21-16 and a timeout taken by John Rogers. We'll step aside as well. 21-16, St. Henry the lead. And pivotal set number three on WOSN. St. Henry trying to close out game number three and move on to the championship. Today's Cavaliers spike off for warming. Trying to claw back as Summer Owing cuts it down the line. Dug out by Chloe Gell. She set up, tips it over. Oh, what great hustle. Owing again. Ooh. Got it just inside the line down. Yeah. Some good volleyball being played this game. 21-17 the score. Albers. Dug out by the Redskins, whirling. Quick set, punched back up Busher, in the air. Yeah. Busher gets the kill. She's come on these game number two and number three when St. Henry needed her the most to, you know, to turn the tide, so to speak. She's been really, she's been a force in that middle. Yeah. Some key blocks, some key kills. She played really well at game two and number Just game three. Just when they needed a pick-me-up, yep, she's yep. been there. She's been there, yep. Back set. Big swing from Mesher, dug out by St. Henry. Whirling, sets up Gels, and she gets it inside the line. 23-17. Winner moves on to play Coldwater in the championship game today. Raya Busher into the back row. Bar horse put yes. it in the perfect spot. She sure did. She's seen that corner open, and it was because uh, Thiemann was uh, sneaking up a little bit, and she found that back corner. 23-18. Bar horse after the kill. Looks to extend this game just a little bit for Fort Laramie. Loser will play out of a Glandorf in the third place game. Back set, whirling, big swing Ooh, out. They want a tip. For, yeah, St. Henry wants a tip. tip no. Don't get it. <laughs> Oh, they do. They yes, do. they do. They appeal to the up um, the up referee, and he says yes, it was tipped. So it moves to match point at 24-18. Yeah. Barhorse getting an explanation. It, he says it was tipped after they asked. Set point for St. Henry. Punched over. Barhorst, back set measure, blocked Block. by Gels, and yeah. that'll do it. Yes. So St. Henry falls in game number one. They take games two and three, 25-17, 25-18, and they'll play Coldwater in a championship game of today's Cavalier Spike Off. And you'll see it when we return here on WOSN. The championship of the 14th annual Cavalier Spike Off about to get underway. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined by Scott Mack, and we've got all of the action here in the championship between bitter rivals Coldwater and St. Henry. Somebody's going to take home some trophies today with a little bit of gold on them. And we got uh, a fun, great championship matchup for you. Coldwater got here by beating Miami East and Ottawa Glendorf. St. Mary's with a pair, or St. Henry, I beg your pardon, with a victory over St. Mary's and Fort Loramie to get to this championship matchup. And Spencer Etzler will serve for Coldwater to get us started. A swing by Chloe Gales for the first oh. kill of the game. And we saw her be yes. just it, the focal point of St. Henry's offense, basically, in the semifinals, yeah. where it was 
where and how are we going to set up Chloe Gills? Yeah, and you, you sprinkle a little bit of Fullen Camp and uh, Balmer, and that's about what their uh, attack was. But you're right, mostly of Gales. A big swing for Madison Wendell to get Coldwater their first Lee's Famous Recipe chicken spike of the game. St. Henry playing three sets with Fort Lauderdale to get to the championship game. Both of Coldwater's victories coming in two here on this Saturday morning. And St. Henry sends that one wide to the Camp King. Both squads coming off district appearances a season ago. Coldwater taking down St. Henry in the district final en route to appearance at the state tournament. Swing long from Ellie Fullen Camp for St. Henry. And quickly, Coldwater with a two point advantage here at set number one. Pretty similar squad, Scott, when you look at it. You've got a couple of really good outside hitters, some, some focal points offensively, and pretty good defense for both sides as well. Right, and they, both teams got a pretty good, decent middle attackers where they can get some good blocks, and the, and the back row do a good job of passing the ball. That, you know, that allows them to play fast. They're, uh, the libero's on both teams are very good, and, and they go and get it, so that also helps with the teams, as you've just seen right there, how they went flying to go get that. So from both sides, yes. unfortunately for the Redskins, it falls off Ariah Busher and down. A 4-1 advantage early for Coldwater. St. Henry kind of started slow in their first couple of sets against Fort Morgan before rearing back. Here at serves it away for Coldwater. Gells the serve, dug nice. out by Exler. Kanapke, the set, blocked at the net after the swing yes. from Raring, Roaring. Yeah. Good placement there, but way to go get it by Bauer. Another big oh. swing, a great dig for Brian Busher. Busher. Wow. And they'll get it back over. What a play by St. Henry. Dump it over, dug out by the Redskins. Set for Gells. Blocked at the net. Hooked back in the air. Quick set, and down. That's him. Demon tried, thought that was coming a little bit. Fought her, going to her, her legs, but just off the tip of her fingers. 5-1 advantage. What a heck of a volley that was. It absolutely was leaping, diving early in this yes. first set in the championship match. Eddie Lurland is set to Gels. Out of bounds. It's just wide. Yes. Going out of bounds, yep. Ottawa Glandor from Fort Lauderdale playing in the third place match here at the Cavalier Spike Off. Tucked it just yeah. inside yes. the line. Good spot. The sophomore can ask you. You're right, it's a tough spot to put that thing in. Yeah. A quick time out by Christian Nosey back early in set number one. We'll take it as well. Goldwater 7 1 advantage in set number one on WOSN. Spikes tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catered meats and Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Where home style happens here. It's a 7-1 lead for Coldwater. Quick timeout by the Redskins, and they come out of the timeout with a point of their own. Yeah, good job by Fullen Camp there. The set the middle, kind of going away from the outside. Uh, Coldwater's doing a good job getting their blockers out there. They went to the middle, and Fullen Camp knew just what to do to get that one put away. 7-2 to score now. Henry looking to climb back in. Dug out, Kanapke trying to get it back instead. We'll have to roll it over. Rachel Troyer set from whirling. Fuller camp tips it over. Oh, yeah. Great job by Coldwater to yeah. keep it alive. Good job Edsler by Etzler to go it get it. Yeah. Gels yeah. finds the spot on the floor. You know, the, the thing about that is they had a good spot where it got Coldwater kind of out of circulation and they're sprinting to get back where they're supposed to be and then allowed Gels to put one away. So Lydia Whirling the center for St. Henry. Senior. On to serve. Knuckleball into the back row received by Etzer. Tipped over by the Cavaliers. Gels gets the fingertips on it. Triple kill. 
Wazen game has been kind of quiet so far. They really haven't set her much. And she was uh, against the OG game. She was a big part of them, their yeah. attack. St. Henry's cut the lead back down to three after trailing 7-1. That's the one all over. Orlight sets Gels. Oh, nice. Turned out well yeah. by Rachel Schroeder. And that one hits the floor. Yeah. Up by Fulham Camp again. She doesn't hit it that hard, but she knows she's got good placement of where she places her uh, her kills, and a lot of times they're going down for winners. The lead cut to two after four straight points by St. Henry. Warlick sends it away. Just long. Cold water stops the bleeding momentarily as Mia Kanaki, the sophomore. Nope, she will not send it away. The Abigail Schwederman instead. Schwederman has seen it. A little long. Bit too much muscle. Yeah. So the lead trim back to two once more at 8 6 here in set number one. Championship match. On the Cavaliers spike off. Gell serving. Put it in a tough spot yeah. just inside the line. Ooh, and there's, there's Blossom game. game. Welcome to the show, right? She we just kind of said they haven't set her. One. Wow. They set her up and she put that one away. Man, she gets off the floor quick and She's got a great leaping ability. Yes, she does. She attacked that one. Nice arm swing. Wow, that was impressive. Now can have keep. Just missed that one. Look, yep. from our vantage point, it was pretty gosh darn close was, up here. It was <laughs> one to make you think at least. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Brianna Man Mangan. <laughs> now on to serve for St. Henry. As they trail by two still, 9-7 to seven on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Can have to the set to Exler. Got a tip on it. Yep. Gels from behind a 10-foot line rolls it over. Back set, yep. miscommunication. Wasn't Reds high enough, yeah. Keep it up. Tipped over. Still alive. Still alive. <laughs> Cavaliers get it over. Warwick, Wendell. Back set. Yeah, Wendell. Wendell. Hammers it hard. Yeah. You know, we've watched them play a couple games so far, and, you know, she's been swinging a couple of them out, a couple of them been digged up. And, you know, she really hasn't got many kills, but. You know, she has been putting them in some good places. Molly Wendell, sophomore, got the kill. Makes it 9-8. Ansler, locked at the net. She'll put it right back oh, towards wow. the floor, but St. Henry yeah. can't return that one. Gells tried to get that one. It's a tough swing from Etzler. Grows the lead back out to two. But credit St. Henry, trailing 7-1 early in his first set. As it back to 10-8. Now, Olivia Boring sends it away from cold water. Blocked at the net. Wendell another swing yeah. at it. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Gonna have to keep the set for Etzler. Off the block there, yeah. Off the block. Good job by Etzler. You know, she, she also had a very good game number two where she Attack. She loves that down the line attack mode right there. And she went off the block. Rosalie to three. Which is the biggest they've spaced it out in a while, have the Cavaliers. Lauren sends it away. Cross court pass. Easy peasy for Morgan Bomber. Bomber. She drops it off. Might have been in the net or something. Say, Somebody was in the net, yeah. Or a two, net. maybe. Over by the Redskins. Setting up Etzer once more. Turns it over, off Busher and yeah. down. I think Busher thought that out wasn't going to get tipped, and then she kind of was attacking it and just kind of had a 
slow herself she, down she got, to try to get it. Yeah, spot that she thought it was going to come in a little <laughs> yeah, harder right. than it did, and then it wasn't going to get tipped. Right. She was going to be in the right spot if that played out, but yep. got just nicked up before she could get there, and the lead's grown to five for Coldwater on the structure out to Ohio by all scoreboard. Wendell takes a swing. Wow, out. what a play by Kanapke to Great get that save. one up. Whirling cross court set to Bobber. Off of Kanapke. Yeah. Down. Nine. Lauren Tiemann will serve for St. Henry. Into the back row, dug out by Schroyer. Cavaliers just have to get it over. Kanaki yeah. does. Whirling tried to dump it over. Ends up playing by Coldwater. Cut down the line, absolutely big. Kanaki sets over. Dug out by St. Henry. Another dunk. <laughs> just <laughs> put it right to the floor by Blasing. <laughs> Tried the sneak attack, didn't get right. that, and said, I'll just give you straight power there. <laughs> right. Right. Thought it sneak one over. They kind of chipped it over. She said, all right, you're going to set me up for a spike. I'll take care hey, of it. You're going to get this one, Ed. Right. Now Blasing game. Will serve. Long. From deep, yep. Bomber, the sophomore. Sends it away. Gnapke looking for Etzler. Blocks the net. Yeah, good job getting it back up. Whirling looking for Gels. Out of bounds. Stretched it. Yep. And the point goes Coldwater. Really haven't hit this game down the line, so. Now Etzer, who showcased her serving ability in the semifinals. Yes. Gets the ace there. <laughs> Got to have Gels all messed up there, trying to backpedal, and must have had some movement on that one. Yeah, there's just yeah, yeah, I, not, I, not I, really certain of where it's going to go or how it's coming in. Yes. Must have had a lot of knuckleball on that. There you see it. There's ball, another one. And there's back-to-back -back yeah. aces in the lead. You know, because uh, to seven. Bushers are really, really, really good uh, libero back yeah. there. I mean, for her to shank one, that ball had to have some movement on it. 17-10 so to score. Another timeout taken by the Redskins. We'll step aside as well. More first set action. What are we on WOSN? Aces will serve once more. Lolly pops a knuckleball in the middle of the floor. Whirling swung on. Busher. Henry stops the bleed. Yeah, for a Busher ball. again in the middle. Carla Busher will take a seat on the bench after a kill. And Raya Busher. The junior libero will serve. Couldn't get that one quite up over the net. No. Looks like Fort Loramie is taken down Ottawa Glandorf for third place. It's Kira Kanapke. Sends it away. Whirling. Sent for Fullen Camp. Dug out by Kanapke. The cross court pass to Boring is out. She just didn't get her momentum behind that and just kind of tried a roll shot and just didn't get underneath it. As the coach is kind of telling you, you got to come through it. You know, she's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Lydia Wurling now on to serve the senior center for St. Henry. Kanapke back set for Wendell. Cross court. Busher sends it up. Gels will take a swing at it. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Blossom game from behind a 10 foot yeah. line. Gels swings again. That's where the dig. Blossom game. Ooh. Another tough <laughs> yeah. swing. Yeah. The, off of Sandy yeah, right now. 10 foot line. That was impressive that she got up and knocked that one down. 
Lincoln now out to seven again, 19-12. Coldwater with the lead. Cavaliers looking for their fifth spike off championship in school history. Send delay. Deep. Coldwater won at 13, 14, 17, and 21. Hey, Henry looking for their fourth. The last time they won was 2019. They played in the championship eight times. This is the ninth time in the 14 years. Yeah. Kind of been a regular here, haven't they? Well, he yells the serve. Blazing game to swing. A little deep, yep. Just a little deep again. I think Wendell and um, Fullen, Fullen Camp there had a little bit to do with that. They're blocking at the presence, trying to get over them and put a little too far deep. Gell serves once more. That one into the net after recording a couple of points here for St. Henry. 20 to 14 now score. On the structure outdoor Ohio by on scoreboard. You can have you to serve. Wendell. Big swing from Wendell. Yeah. Excellent. That's just tries to dump yeah. it over. Gels from behind the 10 foot line. Puts it in a tough spot. You see the backspin on it. That's where the swing blocked yeah. at the net. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, St. Henry yeah, wants that into the Saint net, Henry's but they're calling a block. Yep. Yeah. Goes to the Cavaliers. Yep. Yeah. 21 14. They would close out set number one. Quick set to Fulham Camp. Blocked it down. And now Mangan on to serve again. One of the serving specialists for the Redskins. Ganaki sets to Esther. Block. Out of bounds again, yeah. And out of bounds. St. Henry's got their hands on a couple yes, of them. Yes, they have. Busher and Wendell, are, they're a presence <laughs> up there. Those two sophomores are up there and uh, get a lot of hands on the ball, unfortunately, uh, for the St. Henry Redskins. They're blocking them out of bounds. Roaring on to serve. In the middle of the floor in the back row. Big swing yeah. taken by Busher. Cavaliers able to keep it up. Orla. Sets Wendell, cuts it down the line, saved by Coldwater. Etzler just dumps it over. Early serves again. Ooh. That's a big swing by Bomber. Yes. A little bit of frustration in that one, maybe a little bit. Just she got let after it, it yeah. Let it out on the volleyball. <laughs> she sure did. 22 16, the score remains at 22 for Coldwater. She raced to 25. Down the line, dug out by the Cavaliers. That's from the middle of the spot. Sends it on. So Henry tacks on another one. Timeout by Coldwater. We'll keep it here at 22 17. Cavaliers got out to that early start, leading 7 1 early in the set. St. Henry clawed back in, and then Coldwater extended the lead some more. St. Henry's fought back each time to get it back down to five here in set number one at 22-17. We've seen both sides struggle a little bit with the serve receive. We saw Spencer Etzler put a couple of aces on the board. And then we've seen some just fantastic up high and down hard kills. <laughs> we sure have. And we've seen, like as you just mentioned, we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of everything in this first game, so very evenly matched two teams here and uh, trying to figure out what what works and what can't. And, you know, they're back setting. Give them credit. They're going to the center. They're going to uh, the back set. They're going. They're trying to do all kinds of things to try to combat the defense of both teams. Looks like we're set to go after the timeout. As Lauren Teeman. Set to serve. Into the back corner. Gnatke looking for Essler. She gets another kill. Yeah, sure did. Off the block there and didn't have the speed as much as just tough to handle. 
to St. Henry's credit, they've got their hands up a couple of times. Got, yeah. got mitts on it. A quick set. Oh, that was almost almost a wonderful job by Whirling to go back back set. That one at center yeah. and then just put straight to the floor by Madison Wendell. Wendell. Yeah. Climbed the ladder and put it straight down. And now it's game point, 24-17. Bomber tucks it in. 24-18. Still game point. And after the kill, she'll send it away. Kanapke sets up Wendell off the net down, and the Cavaliers take game number one at 25-18. Step aside, come back with second set action. You're on WOSN. Tonight's spike sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Championship. The Coldwater Cavalier spike off. Coldwater with the game one victory over St. Henry. 25-18 score. Cavaliers last won the tournament in 2021. St. Henry's last championship came in 2019. They finished runner up last year. And St. Henry was here like the last game against Fort Lormie. They lost first set 25-22, I think it was. Yeah. And then they came back and won the next two games. And, you know, I just think that, again, they, they play a few sophomores and, you know, they, they just kind of get their feet wet. And all of a sudden the second game, they kind of get more comfortable and they uh, seem to play a lot better. And it felt like, and maybe I'm incorrect here, but they, it felt like they kind of tried to spread the wealth there in the first game where it wasn't yeah. just like, okay, we're going to set the gills and yeah. see where it goes. Uh, Molly Wendell got some uh, set attempts. Morgan Bomber did as well as a serve, dug out by Etzler. Big, wow, big hit by Wendell. By Madison Wendell. Yeah. Woo. For the first big Lee's Famous Recipe chicken spike of set number two. Hey, sir. Yeah. Spencer Etzler will serve for Coldwater after the big swing. Yells blocked in the net. I Wendell think, and Kanaki got a piece of it. Yeah, and, and uh, I think she's kind of struggled going down the line that first set, and kind of that might be in the back of her mind. She wanted to go across court and well, right into the block there. So 2 nothing Coldwater early here in game number two. Etzler. The serve, swinging wide from Carly Bush. Busher. Yeah, she she had it. She just I think uh, hit it. A little, I think she might have miss hit that a little bit. I think she got that on the side of the ball and caused it to go to the left. Now there's nobody on court number B. Yeah. <laughs> just Spencer Etzler to get the volleyball rolled all the way over there. Poor girl had to run all the way over to the stands to get it. She's put three on the board for St. Henry. I guess two on the board after the kill. From Wendell. There's another yeah. one right to the floor from Mia Kanaki. Yeah. Set number two. All cold water so far. Bad when your setter can uh, knock that one down for you at the net. That's where Sir St. Henry has to change it to the other court. Rolled over. Got out by Blasi game. Set to Wendell. Good job by Busher. By Busher. Kanapke tries to get the back corner. Yeah. Keeping him honest. Gells the swing, and that's Real a little long. long yeah. It's 5-0 cold water. I think they want a tip. All the officials say it's out. Yeah. St. Henry's shown a little frustration for the first time, and you know, we've seen him two games so far today, and it's a little bit of frustration here. Etzler off of Busher. Busher just drops it over the yeah. net. Big swing to Wendell. Wendell down. Yeah. 6-0 cold water. See how long St. Henry 
lets this last as Atzler continues to serve. It's a tough spot for Chloe sure Gills is. to get. Yeah. It just and I don't know, Etzler either th throws a fastball at you, the lollipop or the knuckleball. She's got all kinds of in her arsenal. It Seems just, like every time they make a run with her serving, it's always her serving. It's just perfect placement. Yeah. It's 7 nothing Coldwater. Yeah. We'll step aside and come back with more second set action here on WOSN. Set number two, all cold water so far, leading 7 0 here on WLOX out here at St. Rock alongside Scott Mack and Spencer Exler continues to serve for cold water. Just puts him in tough spots. Chloe Gells with the swing. Dug out though by the Cavaliers that keep it in play. Schroyer yeah. will roll it over. Joust at oh, the net. Yes. Cut down, oh, back corner. Oh. Blocked at the net by Wendell's, cold water. Yeah, Wendell's been a force up there in the middle, got a double hit there. Coldwater's arguing. Right. That's just one hit. Oh. Not the result that St. Henry faithful wanted to see. <laughs> yeah, right. Still on the board, still scoreless on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. As Etzler sends it away. Yells the swing. Nice Dug job out, on Edsler. Wow. Goes right back to St. Henry. Kanapke sets up Wendell. Tipped over. Looking for Gels. Block it down. Yeah, she got one. Wendell had it, but it just went off the side of her block. Good job by Gels to hit it off the side of the block. So the first point of the set for St. Henry. Much needed point. Yeah. Stop the run there. Out of the timeout. Raya Busher to serve. Kanapke looks for Wendell. And there's a big kill yes. once more. Another Lee's famous recipe spike. Tell you, she's having herself a, a match here, man. The first game, she was a force inside and a couple good kills. So far in this game, she started the game off with a kill and a couple blocks. She's been uh, dominant. Division one softball player going to Central Michigan. It's set away by Kira Kanapke. We're like the set to Gels. Ooh. And there's a big swing by yeah. the senior. That might have been her first time that had an open look, right? There was not really, the block was yeah. a little late getting there. She had an open look and then had all the whole court in front of her. And she, when you give her an open spot, it's good night. She had a lot of court to work with. She sure did. Where, yeah. Pretty much wherever she wanted. And the block was late and she uh, took care of it. The serve from Whirling to the back corner. Kanapke, middle set to Exler. She gets it just inside yep. the line. Oh, they'll say it's out. Mm. I thought my have been tipped. It was out, but I thought it was tipped. Maybe not. Another serve from Worley. That's where she just dump it over in a great spot. Saying yeah. and leaping and diving to keep it off the floor. Can have you to Wendell. Saved good by job. the Redskins. In the yeah. net. That's a tough spot. Good, yeah, a good hustle by Baumer to try to get that. Or Baumer to hustle from her back right position. Go all the way to the left to go get that one. She tried. Got it to the net at least. It's 9-3. The score is Coldwater has the advantage. Here in set number two. Already a game under their belt. Serving to the back row, Whirling. Gels. Ooh, what a great swing. Troyer tried to get that one up. Just had too much uh, pace on that one. You mentioned when Chloe Gels has an open look yeah. there, she wants to put it. You just, it's a tough spot to be. And Rachel Schroer, you mentioned, got a hand on it. That might be considered a win. 9-4 into the net, 9-5. Yeah. Plaza game was going up for the for the spike and kind of had to stop and try to hit that one the other way and just didn't quite get it there. Gell serving. 
He looks to set Etzel. Takes some heat off Ooh. of it. Gels will hit from the back row. And Acton dumps it over. Whirling the set. Big swing there. There's Gels again. No, that was Fulham uh, Camp. Fulham Camp. Yeah, sorry. It kind of looked the same. Yeah, they got you got that long blonde that long hair. Long blonde ponytail covering <laughs> the number. Right, it's hard to see. But, uh, nice swing by Fulham Camp. See, Henry showing a little life here. Yeah. After trailing early 7 0, it's now 9 6. Gels. Knuckleball into the back row. Lazy game to the floor. Yeah. And with against OG, Blasingham was her best player, and I think that's only the second or third set that she's gotten yep. in two two sets here. Because uh, Wendell's been playing so well in Etzler. Yeah, was a long yeah. hit. That would have been out of bounds for playing on the basketball court. <laughs> yeah, right. I feel bad for those two ball girls over there, been chasing balls left and right <laughs> yeah, on the other side nobody, of the court. Nobody yeah. on the other court. Right. Here we go fetching them. Or like back set. Wendell nice job, Wendell. Yes. Just that quick set. Yeah. Molly Wendell gets a peek at it. Similar to the last couple of kills for Gels had plenty of room to yeah. work with. Now Manga on to serve. Hassler sends it right back to the server. Rolled over. Kanaki sets the blossom game. There's no defending that. Wow, that one about straight down. Lee's famous recipe chicken spike a big one. Wow. Blossom game. Yeah, that was impressive. That makes it 12 7. Away, just oh. inside the line. Yeah, a little miscommunication. They both kind of backed away from it, uh, Gales and Busher. Olivia roaring the ace. Mm -hmm. Puts it in just the perfect spot. It sure did. You know, you, you watch from TV or in the stands, think, oh, how do they miss that? It, it, you know, ball's coming at you, you got a split second and move. I mean, give those, it's, you know, 90% <laughs> <You nine, gotta, laughs> of the time they get it, you know, they get it that quick, but. You know, the one time you don't, everyone's like, how do you miss that? Well, you, you got to judge yeah. speed, spin, right. where it's going. Right. There's in a lot coming at you at once. Split second. And if it hits somebody in front of you, if it hits the net, <laughs> right, it yeah. changes everything. Right. After the point, St. Henry with the service. And there's an ace for Lauren Tiemann. <laughs> 13 the advantage now for Coldwater. I'll make it 14 9 after the year. Tina not happy with herself hitting that one in the net. She kind of kicked her feet and said, ah, oh, it's not where I wanted it. And when you've, you, you know, you fought this hard to get back yeah, to right. be within five. Lost game. Whirling, looking to set up Bush and send it long. Yeah. It's kind of behind her a little bit, and she tried to reach and get it, but. Kind of got it going up instead of down, and that's why it went deep. Another surfing blossom game. Put up in the air by Busher. Kanaki, Atzler, the swing. A mm. big swing. Wow. Mommer puts it on the deck. Ladies' famous recipe, chicken spike. I don't know if Schroer got that one up or if it hit and then she hit it, but. Wow, just to get a hand on that was impressive enough. 15-10 the score. Bomber, a little chip shot over the net. Kanapke looking to set up Wendell, blocked. Etzler trying to dump it over. Joust at the net, won by St. Henry. Etzler takes a swing, block yeah. it down. Busher got that one, I believe. Maybe her and Whirling might have got a little bit of that, too. The lead remains five for Coldwater. 15-10. That's a long. 
Every time St. Henry's yeah. been on the verge of being put away, they've clawed back. Resilienness. Bomber sends it away again. Kanapke to set outside to Michael. Oh. Nearly saved. Yeah. What a big least famous recipe chicken spike. As Busher has to run a 400 meter dash to go get the ball <laughs> way over there to get it. <laughs> 16 12 on the structure outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. And the last thing St. Harry wants to see is Spencer Exler serving. Yes. Gell's blocked. Chipped over. Quick set to Wendell. Tipped. Pusher, the dig. Gells will take a swipe at oh, it. Oh, wow. On the floor. Yeah. Don't know that that's how she visited in her mind. That's no. how it played out. She got it on the floor. Yeah. And the lead is shot to three. Mm -hmm. Hit the tape just right. And it kind of rolled down and fell on the opponent's side for Gells. Pusher. Tough spot. Yeah. Cavaliers deal with it. Schroyer gets a dig. Swung over. St. Henry puts it on the floor once more, and they've got it down to two. Pulling camp. Good spot. Quick set in the middle. Timeout Time taken by Coldwater. We'll step aside as well. 16-14, set number two. Cavaliers lead on WOSN. Out of the timeout, Raya Busher serving, and St. Henry is trimmed the lead to two. 16-14. Wendell, the swing. Whirling. Finds nice a spot, spot on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, the back, back corners have been open, and good, good spot by Whirling, using her left hand. Throw that one in the corner and got a kill, got a good spot. Coldwater started set number two yeah. on a seven-nothing run. St. Henry's got it all the way back down to one. Busher, great placement on the serve. Swung on and out. We are all square at 16. Yeah. Oh, no, no, oh. say it's tipped. <laughs> St. Henry faithful or not happy. So they'll call it a tip. Redskin faithful thought they had it square at 16. Instead, it's 17-15. Can have you the serve. Whirling sets up Gels. Again. Give her space. She's going to put it away right there. Wow, that was a tough one. So now the lead back down to one. 17 16. Whirling the serve. Back set. Finds a spot on the floor, did Madison mm -hmm. Emma Eink in the game for the first time. She'll serve for the Cavaliers. The top span on the service is whirling. Back sets Gels. Bang! Starting to heat up, isn't she? Another one. Starting to really feel it. Yes, she is. So lead back down to one at 18-17. Gels now serving after the kill. Looking for Blasen game, block, got it back up though. St. Henry keeps it alive. And Whirling. Yeah, Whirling, yeah. Underneath the net, almost decapitated yeah. by the net. Yeah. Uh, about a foot past the line. <laughs> yeah, but this like, uh, what's that? Um, she did a good job of not right, hitting she, it. Right, she tried the old limbo. And, right, limbo and trying to get underneath there. And she, I'm trying to get back. It wasn't all that noticeable. No. Didn't rock the net or anything like that, but a swing from Blasen. Mm, yep. Nobody at yep. home. Nice spot, yep. And now it's 2017. <laughs> Timeout for St. Henry will step aside as well. Set number two coming up. On the floor,
Goldwater looking to close out game number two and take home the championship of their own tournament. They lose 2017 over Structure Outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Mia Kanaki serves for Goldwater. Swing from Wendell, blocked at the net. Kanaki to Etzler, blocked Ooh. once more. Now they just keep it alive. Rolled over by Kanaki. Busher, the dig, whirling. Chip nice. shot down by Bomber. Wow. To score 2018. Rihanna Manger serves. And after cross court pass to Etzler, took a little off of it. Whirling. Finds a floor with Busher. 2019. Remember, Coldwater started the set on a 7 0 run. St. Henry's battled all the way back. Thought they had it tied at one point. Mm. Megan into the back row. Tough spot for Kanapke. Double hit, uh, prolonged yeah. contact, and now we're all square at 20. The St. Henry faithful. It's starting to get a little loud, aren't they? Starting to Cheer even harder. Yep. They're all tied at 20. Kanaki, Etzler, off of a red skin. Wow, down. Yeah. That had some uh, juice on it. Coldwater just four points away now. <laughs> Flooring the service. Swung on by Palmer, dug out by the Cavaliers. Asla, nice put it spot. in a great spot. And Puts there's... it right back at the left yeah, hand. Right, that was even better. Good job by Bush to go get that one. She just swiped and hit it. Unfortunately for her, went right back to uh, Etzler, and she knocked it down with her left hand. A great, great touch by her. Roaring another serve. Bush got put in a tough spot. Swing from Carly yeah. Busher. Yeah. Tipped him down. 3. Boring team to serve. Team a junior. Sends it away. That's where the serve oh, blocked by Busher again. Bush is starting to heat up here. Got a couple kills, couple blocks. She's been she's been really yeah, good yeah. late in sets today. Right. She's right. Just been there when they needed her. Right. We're all knotted up on the structure outdoor Ohio by old scoreboard at 22. Team it in a tough spot. Gonna have to eat the set for Blasey game. Tipped. Great effort by Ryan Bush. Busher to go get it. Yeah. Gonna have to eat the set for Blasey game. Ooh. Tough to handle. Yeah. Yell's got a piece of it, but. It's a big Lee Sims recipe yes. chicken spike. Late in set number two, 23-22. Cavaliers with the lead and Blossom game serving. Yells from behind the 10-foot line, tipped. Gonna have to eat the Wendell, sent right back to her. And the point goes to yeah. St. Henry on four. Or yeah, I, guess the, I don't think they yeah. got it. They hit at the net and didn't get over, I believe. Yes, you are correct. Tied up at 23. Trying to swipe a game. Oh, Set wow, wow, long. wow. It was not, did not <laughs> miss by much. Wow, well, Schroer, I tell you, Rachel Schroer. Wow. Thought about it. Nerves of steel there. I tell you, I, that would be too close for me to let go. But Now it's match point at 24-23. Wow. Etzler serving. Busher. Worland. Yells. Kill. We'll play a little extra. Yeah. 24 all, and maybe most importantly for St. Henry, they get Spencer Etzler with the point to not be serving. Yeah. 
And Raya Busher, one of their better servers. Lolly pops it over. Wendell the swing. Dug out by Raya Busher. Busher. She's been everywhere this game. Bomber in the back. Etzel just rolls it over. Dug out by Busher. Gells. Block at Block. the net. We're Wendell. How did uh, Kanapke got that one? That's like their second one this game, I believe. So match point once again, 25-24. Yeah. Cavaliers can close it out with a point. Kira Kanapke, the serve. Deep into the St. Henry zone. Gels blocked. Whirling. Back set to Gels once more. Got it. Dug out by Etzler. Dumped over. Oh, Bush uh, with a yeah. dig. Quick swing from Thorn Camp is wide. Tip. But it's tipped. Tips, yep. So we'll play a little longer at 25. <laughs> Great job by St. Henry. Yeah. To really uh, just even be down 7 nothing to get to this point. Absolutely. And Coldwater fighting through that adversity as well from letting St. Henry hang back around. But we're all square at 25. Kanaki, quick Ooh, set. What a dig. Big dig after Whirling. the swing from Wendell. Oh. And that went into the net. <laughs> That might be the the uh, first miss hit by Baumer the whole day here. And it's been a while. Oh, We've played yeah. really high quality volleyball <laughs> right. here for a while. Yeah. So I mean, they won three with four Lormy, and I mean, wow. Emma Eink, the freshman, serving for Coldwater. Busher, whirling, Gels, pop back up. Schroyer, will roll it. Cavaliers get it over. Whirling cross court set to Gels Ooh. off the floor and down. No block there, and she she put it away. You know, we talked about Bauer missing that Baumer missing that one. I wonder if you know fatigue. They, St. Henry had three before. This is their third game of the day. A lot of tired legs yeah. out there, and it's starting at nine o'clock this morning. It's three thirty now. It's a lot of volleyball. Long day. Gels into the back row, dug out by Exler. Set for Blasing game Ooh. off the block and down. It's a big Lee's favorite yes. recipe chicken swing. And now it's 27 26. Match point once more. A lot of nervous people in the stands right now. <laughs> Sir Kanapke. <laughs> a lot of nervous parents. Pokes it over. Whirling. Sets to Bomber. Block. Oh. <laughs> and it will continue. Yeah. Through all this, St. Henry is yet to be the one to be at, at set point. Yep. They've fought back each and every time. We're now all square at 27. Mangan, knuckleball serve into the back row. Kanaki, Etzler, oh. got it. Yeah. Got it right down the line. Sure did. Nobody was home. What a spot. Perfect spot, perfect placement. 27 now, match point again. Coldwater looking to take home the trophy for their first victory since 2021 here at this event. The serve. Whirling, quick set, blocking down. And the Blazing game, winning. wow. Come up big at the end. 29 to 27. A fantastic second yeah, wow, game. Wow, what a game. And, and this obviously isn't the last time these two squads no. have played. They got a uh, Midwest Athletic Conference game. Wouldn't be surprised if they end up playing each other in the tournament. But a, a really, all things considered, Scott, a, a great season opener here. Yes. This is Cavaliers playoff. And what great volleyball here on, like you said, a lot of the top area teams come here and play, and it's just impressive uh, what we've seen today. So the Cavaliers going to take home the gold from It's their fifth championship in the 14 year history of the Cavaliers. Mike Goff, St. Henry for the second consecutive year, finishes as today's runner-up. So Coldwater beat Miami East out of a and St. Henry for the championship today. St. Henry finishes as runner-up after beating St. Mary's and Fort Loramie, but falling to Coldwater. The Cavaliers take home the gold trophy today at the Cavaliers Spike Off. So that will do it from us here for our fantastic WLSN crew. And Scott Mag up here at Seat Right saying so long. Congratulations to Coldwater winning the Cavaliers Spike Off here in 2023. And we'll catch you next time on WOSN.